good evening and welcome to Ronnie Fowler Field. Dave Wade, Coach Joe Holloway here with the Ball Game Blitz TV show produced by Worthy Road Studios on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. And we will be bringing you this ball game, possibly recorded. But you are in the Great American Sports pregame show. And, Dave, we will be uh, – actually, you will be narrating the homecoming uh, festivities here in just a moment for this broadcast, which will be recorded and archived on YouTube tonight. Well, you know, and um, homecoming – uh, at Jackson Christian is a special time, and and it's uh, everybody is involved from the the lower school to the middle school to the upper school, and uh, looking forward to a lot of festivities tonight. And uh, coach, every week it just keeps getting better and better with the weather. What a beautiful, beautiful few days we've had. And uh, as the sun sets down in the west, as uh, usually it always does, I don't think I've ever seen it go anywhere else, but uh, it does get below the trees, and the field is now totally in shade. Uh, the trees, their upper parts are shining and beaming in the sunlight, and we're looking at about 70, uh, I mean 67 degrees, and it'll be in the 50s before we're done. And here's the order of events tonight. They had the alumni tailgate at 530 in the Southern Capital end zone. At 630, the homecoming court coronation. They'll introduce the young ladies, their escorts, and uh, – you will be narrating that. You've got a great script provided uh, for yes. us so we don't make any mistakes. But And then at 7 o'clock, of course, the kickoff between Jackson Christian and Tipton Rosemark. Dave, we had one of those moon stars and planets games last week. <laughs> After the first quarter, nothing lined up right. And USJ has a very good team. Yeah, they got a real, real, real good ball team. And it's going to surprise me if we don't see them again. Um, you know, they're well-rounded, evenly balanced across. Uh, they're, they're, they execute their game plan very well, got a fantastic coaching staff. Uh, and, and we stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, but it was literally, you could tell after that first quarter, uh, you were going to have to keep up with each other to score. And, and it was going to be the one who made the mistake, the, the, the least, the, or the least mistakes. And... Uh, you know, sometimes it happens that way, Coach. The ball dropped over on our side. So, uh, you know, we, we didn't execute a few times. It wasn't that the whole game was like that because we played really well, put a big number on the board. Problem is, they put a bigger number on the board. Yeah. So, we got to get past that. This is a good team that is going to be over on the other sidelines. It's not one of the top-notch state teams. But it is the kind of team that you got to watch out for. We cannot have that, uh, you know, that dreary hangover from the last game and let it bother us. Come out, take care of business. And if we do, then that's the perfect team to have over there. Got to move on from last week's game. Yeah. That one's Can't over. Can't change it. Correct what uh, mistakes you can correct. Move on. Next yep. game theory is what we usually call it in athletics. And I'm going to be honest with you. You're right. We're playing a big team. Tipton Rosemark has kind of retooled a little bit, and they're changing directions. They changed coaches two years ago, and it has become a different style squad. And you can see one of their large young men. Uh, we only have one guy his size on that, our team. That's we Bo Downing. Big, yeah, and he, he is not a small young man either. Not at all. I would say just – uh, just from the getting off the bus, he looked like about 6'1", maybe 6'2", uh, 250 plus. Right. 250 plus. I, I wouldn't know because the shoulder pads and everything else makes a five-foot person that weighs 180 pounds look like they weigh 250. But that was a big young man that walked across that field. Really is. We come into this game one and one in the – region and uh, that's important to hold serve because you really want to finish number two because of the number of home games that you get in that position. Tipton Rosemark comes in off of this is their second straight homecoming game in a row. They played TCA last week. It started out very close. It was tied at well actually it was never tied because they missed their first extra point. And then it was 7-6, 14-6 and then you could see the strength coming into TCA. They've got a fine running back and some other good players over there, including the coach's son, who's their quarterback. And they took off and pushed away. But the 
Tipton Rosemark group never gave up. They had guts last week. They went in their own territory for it on fourth down in the first quarter. <laughs> so they have the guts of a riverboat gambler. Well, and, you know, when you're a team that is struggling to put points on the board and you're – you know, you've got to try to make things happen. Now, going for it on fourth down in your own territory early in a ball game, and uh, and, and, I, and from what I understand, it wasn't just just on the other side of the 50. No. <laughs> it was way back it down was there. It back around the <laughs> 30 or 35, yeah. I believe. I don't don't have my notes with that in it. Did you me. did you ever see the special um, about the team in Arkansas that never punts? I have heard of them. I've never seen the special. They literally never punt. They never punt, and every kick is on site. And the coach uh, does the uh, – what, what do they call them now? Where they – you know, all the all the NFL teams have it. When to go on for hydroglyphics or whatever. I can't remember what it's called. But bottom line is is that they, uh, they've gone through and they've – They've charted each one of them out like they the did analytics. In, analytics, that's analytics. it. They, and they, they've charted each one of them out like the movie Moneyball. And they have found out that, that the, there's more success in doing that than it is handing them the ball. Well, keeping pressure on people is the name of the game. Dave, I see that the first young lady, but I'm going to turn it over to you. You've got your script there, and we're going to give you homecoming. Well, Coach, I gladly will take it. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to welcome you to homecoming 2022. It's been a great week to celebrate the Eagle homecoming court. Thank you for being awesome during the dress-up days. Alumni chapel speakers were great. Trash can, milkshakes, games, parades, pep rally. It's been a great week to be an Eagle. We would like to take this time to introduce you to the homecoming court. Your first freshman maid is Miss McKinley Buchanan. She is a daughter of Jennifer Buchanan and Brandon Buchanan. And this is her eighth year at Jackson Christian. McKinley is involved in school in the club volleyball. She loves Miss Tracy Widner because she always baits a cookies. Her favorite JCS tradition is Dr. Bennett's trash can milkshake. McKinley is being escorted by Mr. Mason Vaughn. Mason is the son of Brian and Stacy Vaughn, and he has been at Jackson Christian for 11 years. He is involved in football, basketball, and golf. He loves Miss Angie because she makes incredible food every day. Who at home at class love that. His favorite JCS tradition is trash can milkshakes. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss McKinley Buchanan and Mason Vaughn. Your next freshman maid is Miss Taylor, Taylor, Miss Taylor Kennedy. She is the daughter of Daniel and Kennedy. Taylor is the daughter of Daniel and Kennedy. This is her third year at JCS. She is involved in cheer. She is involved in cheerleading and volleyball. She loves, she loves Miss, Miss Stephanie Gatlin. She makes Taylor laugh Stephanie all the time. Her favorite JCS tradition is Friday night football. Because she makes a Taylor laugh Taylor is being escorted by Mr. Tucker Jones. Jones. Tucker is the son of Austin Friday and Audrey Carroll. Tucker has gone to Jackson Tucker, Christian for eight years. Tucker is being escorted involved by Mr. Football, Tucker Jones. He is the son of and Austin and Audrey Carroll. He thanks Miss Lane Phillips because Tucker she has always, gone to Jackson she always wants him to succeed and cares about him. And Coach Trace Hackett because he pushes him to be the very best version of himself. Miss Lane Phillips because she always wants him to succeed and cares about him and Trace Haggard because he pushes him to be the best version of himself. His favorite JCS tradition is Dr. Brandon Trash Can Milkshakes. I gotta find out what that is. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Taylor Kennedy and Mr. Tucker Jones. And here we go with your 10th gate. The first sophomore maid is Miss Gibson Boykin. She is a daughter of Grant and Michelle Boykin, and this is her first year at Jackson Christian. Gibson is a member of the Varsity Girls soccer team, basketball team. She looks up to Coach Shelton because he's just a cool dude. Her favorite JCH tradition is the student section at the basketball games, I'm sure, and the football. Gibson is being escorted by Mr. Eli Craig. Eli is the son of Joel and Deanna Craig, and this is his ninth year at Jackson Christian. Eli is a member of the chess club, varsity football team. Eli looks up to Coach Reichard because this is mean on the skillet and a great role model. 
Eli's favorite Jackson tradition is trash can milkshakes. What is trash can milkshakes? Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Gibson Boykin and Mr. Eli Craig. Your next sophomore maid is Miss Kendra Taylor. She is the daughter of Carissa Connor and Deontre Taylor. This is a third year at Jackson Christian. She is involved in FACS. She is in Creative Writing Club and the president of the 10th grade class. She thanks Miss Audrey Campbell for being welcoming and always checking to make sure everyone is okay. Her tradition is homecoming pep rally. Kedra is being escorted by Mr. Jalen Mosley. Jalen is the son of Denasha Patrick and TJ Mosley. This is his fifth year at Jackson Christian, and he is a member of the football track team. His favorite Jackson Christian tradition is running out of the banner before football games. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kedra Taylor and Mr. Jalen Mosley. <clears throat> Your first junior maid is Miss Lily Barnes. She is the daughter of Ben Smallwood and Eric Smallwood. This is her 11th year at Jackson Christian. Lily is a cooking and instrumental clubs, and she plays soccer and basketball. Her favorite JCS tradition is Dr. Bishon trash can milkshakes. Lily is being escorted by Mr. Eli Gay. He is the son of Matt and Leanne Gay, and this is his 14th year at Jackson Christian. Eli is a member of the football team, Field and Stream Club. His faculty soccer mom is Miss Fran Baker because she loves her students. His favorite Jackson Christian tradition is pep rallies before games. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lily Barnes and Mr. Eli Gay. Your next junior maid is Miss Kelly Holloway. She is the daughter of Scott and Bridget Holloway, and this is her 12th year at Jackson Christian. She is a member of the Creative Writing Club, FCA Christian, I mean FCA Student Council, and in the Cooking Club. She loves Miss Tracy because she always has snacks and gives the best advice. Her favorite Jackson Christian tradition is a pep rally before the first home game because that's when everybody is hyped. Kelly's being escorted by Mr. Trent Carrier. Trent is the son of Brian and Tricia Carrier, and this is his seventh year at JCS. He is a member of the football, tennis, and track team. His favorite Jackson Christian tradition is homecoming week. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kelly Holloway and Mr. Trent Car Carrier. And now, this year's Honorary homecoming court member is Mr. Zachary Briley. He is the son of Dwayne and Dee Briley, and he started attending Jackson Christian in seventh grade. Zach is involved in Special Olympics and Jackson Christian's ABLE program. He loves Coach Shelton. The happy, the song Happy and uh, Oh yeah, Happy by Farrell Williams. His favorite tradition is the coffee cart and the brew crew. Zach is being escorted by junior cheerleader, Miss Courtney Minton. She is the daughter of Adam and Carol Minton, and this is her 12th year at Jackson Christian School. She is involved in track, cheer, knitting club, cooking club, student council. Courtney loves how Miss Fran Brager always encourages her to work hard. Her favorite Jackson Christian School tradition is the king and queen of hearts, Competing during homecoming, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Zach Briley and Miss Courtney Minion. Your first senior maid is Emma Blankenship. She is a daughter of Brent and Jennifer Blankenship, and this year is her seventh year at Jackson Christian. Emma is on the varsity softball team, a member of Alpha Omega Blue Crew. FCA, Student Council, and the National Honor Society. 
She loves when the Eagle Marching Band plays Sweet Caroline. Her favorite Jackson Christian tradition is homecoming week as the whole and being in the student section on Friday nights and cheering on the Eagles. Emma is being escorted by Mr. Braden Riddle. Braden is escorting Emma in honor of Ryder Lewis, a beloved member of the class of 2023. Ryder tragically taking from this life in 2018 to be with Jesus, and Braden was one of his best friends. Braden is the son of Brian and Christy Riddle and has attended Jackson Christian for 14 years. He is involved in the intramural clubs as well as gold and cross country teams. Braden enjoys running and grilling with Coach Kyle and his favorite JCS tradition is singing the alma mater after football games. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emma Blankenship and Mr. Braden Riddle. Your next senior maid is Sydney Buchanan. She is the daughter of Brandon Buchanan and Jennifer Buchanan and has been a student at Jackson Christian for eight years. Sydney is the senior class vice president, Alpha Omega co-president, a member of the Blue Crew, History Club president, and leadership university graduate and Jackson Symphony League ambassador. Sydney says Coach Kristen Moore is there for her no matter what, and she gives the best advice. Her favorite tradition is lights out singing and school-wide collective chapel. Sydney is being escorted by Mr. Cooper Bankling. Cooper is the son of Rick and Romy Banky. And he has attended Jackson Christian for 14 years. Cooper is involved in Grillin' Chillin' Club, Inter Minerals, and the Blue Crew. He is also a member of the football and the track team. Cooper's favorite Jackson Christian tradition is homecoming week. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sydney Buchanan and Miss Cooper Banky. Your final scene mater is Miss Lauren Day. She is the daughter of Shanna Wilkes and Quentin Day. She has attended Jackson Christian for 15 years. She is involved in the marching and concert band, Varsity Cheer, and is senior class treasurer and a member of the student council. Theater, National Honor Society, and the Cooking Club. Lauren is thankful, thankful for Mrs. Gatlin because she helps Lauren through hard times, helps her make important decisions, and supports her activities. Her favorite Jackson Christian tradition is everything about homecoming week. It's been her favorite week of the school year since kindergarten. Lauren is being escorted by Mr. Kyle Christensen. He is the son of Mark and Stephanie Christensen, and this is his 15th year at Jackson Christian. Kyle plays football and soccer. Kyle's favorite tradition is girl power, Tuesdays with the football team. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lauren Day, Mr. Kyle Christensen. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the name of the winner from the PA announcer, so. Hold on to what you got. While Dr. Benton and our 2021 homecoming queen, Miss Libya Miller, will make their way to the field, let's give each of these members of the court one more round of applause. That's a good looking court. And now your 2022 homecoming queen is Miss Emma Blankenship. And Emma is escorted by Kyle Christensen. Oh, nope, that's not Kyle Christensen that's doing that. He is escorted by... Is that Zach Sisko standing out there? He's got 14 on. We're going to take a quick look back because that's probably That's Mr. Brandon Riddle escorting Emma. Oh, congratulations Emma. 
Hey, congratulations. Let's give it up in one more round of applause. I'm talking to you like the PA announcer is because that's the way it was written. This was a great, 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 great homecoming pre presentation. I know that this is something that they will remember for years. Ladies and gentlemen, one more look at your Jackson Christian 2022 football homecoming court. We'll be right back with 13.06 before kickoff. We'll be back for Jackson Christian versus Tipton Rosemark on Friday night. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. area for over 20 years. Carlock Nissan and Carlock Prestige, the name you can count on. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. And we are back with about 10.25 left on the clock. Not sure if they will give the players a little more time to warm up because now Tipton Rosemark went out here in the baseball field and continued to stay loose. Jackson Christian School, of course, retreated to their dressing room, which is the usual proper procedure for homecoming. It is, and, and you know, um, used to, you remember back in the day, Coach, when all of this was done at halftime, and halftime yep. turned it into a 30-minute extravaganza because, you know, during the game, well, Coach, we're going to have to take a break real quick yep. here. And what we'll do is when we take after this break, we'll come back and tell you more about the contest between the Eagles and the Rebels tonight. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. 
Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. I shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. on Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. If you work outside or in a facility with no AC, or you're just struggling with this year's heat wave, it can really take a toll on your body and health. At Live Hydration Drip Spa, we can help you recover with our Beat the Heat special for only $59. Call or visit us online today to set your appointment. Hey, this is Chuck Walker with Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. If you live in West Tennessee, you have a need for the services we offer. We treat for all types of pests, including bed bugs, brown recluse spiders, and other hard-to-treat pests. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to encapsulate a cross space. Give us a call to hear how to achieve the same thing and save thousands. Southeastern Termite Pest Control can handle all of your termite pest control needs, wood fungus and moisture barriers, real estate closing letters, and so much more. Southeastern, 731-660-1052. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And we are back here at homecoming 2022 for the Jackson Christian Eagles. And this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2022. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of this ball game blitz TV show without the written consent, and the, that's the expressed written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. Uh, there will be some other games tonight on Worthy Road Studios. They will have the TCA, the Peabody game, and the USJ game. They also do Union University volleyball, basketball, soccer, softball. All of our ball game blitz games are archived to the Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel. And tonight, of course, Stephanie Janda is our producer, a director, and Adrena is our replay operator. We're glad to have her as part of the crew. Chris Benson on the camera crew. The executive producer is Paul Schulze. Dave Wade handling the color and also insight into officiating that mm. only Dave can give you. And Coach Joe Holloway doing the play-by-play. Dave, they seem to be going to stay with the clock, although I would have thought that they would have given them a couple of minutes to have loosened up. But as I said, Tipton Rosemark is loose. Oh, yeah, they're definitely loose. And, you know, this is coming down to uh, they've got it timed out good. And as usual, Ducks and Christian did a great job of keeping with the schedule. I'm trying to see exactly who that is out there. Uh don't know if that that's definitely not Paul and I can't make out the white hat um, but um, well, that's not that's not Steve Phillips either because Steve works with a uh, different crew didn't he yeah that is um, uh, oh he's from out south he hurt himself real bad fell out of a tree uh, doing some stuff and he's gonna kill me because I'm not gonna call him Pete Norville no. Uh, <laughs> even though I love Pete to death. That's Gerald Parrish. Why in the world? Gerald with the, he is the white hat. Yeah, I could not. He actually went to Jackson Junior High and uh, was a football player. He and Bobby Walter, but he, I believe, transferred out to Southside. <laughs> he did. Coach, I'll tell you what I'm looking at across the way for the Tipton Rosemont Rebels. Their captains consist of number eight, Sam Cannon, the quarterback. Number 62 is Wyatt Jones. And, um, I mean, excuse me, number 62 is Bo Downing, the big one we talked about. And then there is number nine, the wide receiver, Ellis Fullen. 
And uh, Downing is a huge young man. I believe he could block out the sun. Rusty Carson is here tonight. Used to play quarterback at Southside. Back judge, Bill Milam, and electronic clock operator, Robert Starr. And uh, we've got the crew there. Of course, for us tonight, Wyatt Jones, Banky, and uh, that looks like Dalton Deloach and Cam Boyd representing us. The other two captains standing back here, Joey Carr and Gage Boykin. So, Dave, we uh, I'm going to turn the toss over to you. Let's see if we go back to taking the kickoff this I, week. I think that's what you're going to probably see. Mr. Parrish is showing both of them the heads and the tails. Right now, what goes on in that meeting out there is just pretty much the umpire and the white hat are talking to them about what they expect. I'm going to toss it in the air. If he drops it, uh, he's going to do it again. But it looks to me like Jackson Christian has won the toss, and there's no question about what they're fixing to do. You'll see him cradle a big, big watermelon that it's not there. Here he goes. Honk. And then <laughs> they're going to kick off from uh, the west end where the sun sets and kick yeah, you to got the, that you got it Dave. you kick, got it tamed there. i do kick to the east side if you're listening on the radio right now never been to jackson christian school and ronnie fowler stadium it is the best of the artificial turf newest and latest greatest thing it is beautiful out here tonight uh, about It's about 57 degrees right now. Old Glory in the west end zone is doing nothing. Tipton Rosemark will be wearing navy blue uh, trousers, white jerseys with a red tint on the shoulder. They are wearing white helmets, and they will be going as the Rebels. Jackson Christian in their home attire, all royal blue with the gray helmets and the numbers on the side. And coach, take it away. And the Eagles make their appearance as they steam onto the field. I would give you the temperature at game time, but the Weather Channel is not working. We have no internet <laughs> tonight, <laughs> folks. Hey, they're, they're dealing it, and that's what it is. We're going to try to put a jet pack up. We're doing everything we can, but it's out of our control. Yes. Because my phone and coach's phone and – and, and everybody's phone ain't even picking up internet. Even my hotspot's not working. You know, I would have to believe that if uh, if we could get a local uh, energy company that would that would set up some fiber optics, we might be able to get a little bit better. So well, if, if there's anybody out there that wants to start a local company and, uh, and, and get some fiber optics run that works every week, We'll be Just glad to call. take it, yeah, because <laughs> we'll I'm going to need some at my house. Mine has been very <laughs> inconsistent, and Plume has not worked very well. So uh, I don't ever want to see one of those advertised again. The pregame was brought to you by Great American Sports. Your replay sponsor tonight is Mitchell's Body Shop. Corner logo sponsors are Jackson State Community College, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Jones Chevrolet, and the Blacksmith Restaurant. The scoreboard sponsor is Thompson and Smith Insurance. And I see the deepest man for us is the one and only speedster. That would be Jalen and uh, Mosley. See DeMoss over there to the side of Tipton Rosemark. And that's usually Jack Collins to this side. I cannot see Jack. He's out of my picture and the corner is blocking me. This is Nathan Washington, their kickoff man. He can hit the end zone. But he chose to end over end. It'll come down about the nine. And this is Mosley. Across the 25, the 30, the 35. He's hit there, gets across the 40 and down at about the 42, and there's the normal wrestle for the football, day. Yeah, good good return right there. He takes it in the middle of the field, and I'll promise you as a kicking team, you don't ever want to kick the ball right down the middle of the field because it opens up everything. And right now, we're going to get a flag for a five-yard face mask on the tackle. So we're going to put five more yards on this before we set up first and ten, Coach, and a good run back to start this game. You're absolutely correct about that. The team drive chart, I'm going to fill that out. We'll see them plunk the football down. There's 11.50 is the start of the drive time. And the ball is officially placed, what, at the 47 and a half or the 48? Let's call it the 48-yard line. Jackson Christian comes out first and 10. Ball equidistance from the sidelines or close to equidistance. Boy in the backfield with Boykin. They're going to send Mosley in motion. It's going to be the two-hand pitch. Here's Mosley. And a good ball blocked by Boyd. Gets him across. He's got one man to beat. This is going all the way. What do you have? Touchdown, Jackson Christian and Jalen Mosley. 52 yards. 
And I'll tell you what, right now, as we see this replay, Coach, you're going to do it. You, you said it exactly right. I'm telling you, Boyd kicked somebody out right there and just blew him up, opening it up totally to be able to get him sprung to the outside. And what a great run, first play of the ball game. Coming on. The automatic extra point man, Zach Cisco, holding Austin Kelly, snapping is Wyatt Jones. Snap a little off, but they get it up. It's low, but it's driven through strongly. It's good. Jackson Christian leads seven to nothing. Let's take a timeout on the ball game blitz and Worthy Road Studios Network. And we are back here, oh, no. ready for kickoff. Zach Cisco to tee it up on the 40-yard line. He'll be off of the little X that you see out there a little bit. Zach can move it around anywhere. He can pooch kick. But last week, I know he had four driven into the end zone, right. maybe more than that. He was kicking it like they were kicking it in that professional game last night. And I've been challenged to make somebody smile, so this fix to happen. And let's we pick up on this. They've... <laughs> Got number one out there for them. That is Petrowski, who is one of their good wideouts, and a nice return for him across the 30 down to about the 33. Returned it to his bench. Yeah, coach, and and a great kickoff right here, and and it goes down. And and unlike what they did, you will see, is is we we pin them over in that left hand side over there in that corner. And that cuts the field in half. And, and I mean, it, it, is, it is just the best way to do it because you now you have to cover half the field. You're absolutely right. First and 10 on the 33, their own 33. Ball closest to the TC or the Tipton Rosemark bench. Single coverage out here by Jack Collins on their wide out. Quarterback is Sam Cannon. I believe he's had a brother play there before. There's still full ones on this team. They've been – uh, Fullen Brothers for a while. This is handed off to the running back in the pistol with him. And a nice gain. And uh, this is a better team than the scores indicate of some of their games. It is, Coach. And they're big on the front line. And, and, and real quick, I will, I will tell everybody that because of our Internet problems that happened at the last second, we're kind of running around in here and we're doing this and doing that. So we're working all of this out real quick right now. And, and we're going to get it all situated. But we got thrown up in the air and now we're picking pieces up. Absolutely. Dave has told you right. Second and five. The ball's on the 38 still. Wide side of the field to the left. The slot over here. And again, they're going to try fulling. And he's going to get good yardage. His helmet will be a little short of the first down marker. Well, that was or one they of the. say he may have gotten it. Let's see where the spot is. Man, I. I I think they are going to give it to him. They're going to point, and uh, he's waving it off. I think he's going to go. Yep, they're going to move the change. Coach, that was a pretty hard run right there. I mean, he literally got in that gap, and there was nothing there, and he just turned his power on and pushed himself, wheeled him to the first down. The initial first down, we've got to get into those gaps and get some penetration in the backfield. Cannon looks over to the sideline where the plays are being signaled into. There's the short passing game, and they're very good at this, and they're going to pick up at least eight yards on this. Well, we're not but uh, a couple of minutes into this first quarter, and I can tell right now that Tipton Rosenmark's game plan is little at a time, keep the ball out of the hands of the Jackson Christian offense. The longer that they're off the field, the longer they can't score. Yeah, second and eight, a short eight. And they have a great short passing game. They're capable of throwing over the top to Petrowski. We'll tell you about their other wideouts. Uh, Funk is their tidy, and they give to Fullen again. He's going to have the first down and more as he gets to about the 41. Let's see if they give him the 40 on this. Well, I'll tell you once again, you know, and, Coach, if you'll look up to the sky to your right, you'll see another drone. This is the second game in a row. I wonder if that's ours or theirs. But right now what they're doing is is that – and they're doing it effectively. They're, and they're, just, in, they're in their hurry-up offense yeah. too. They're not giving us uh, much chance to adjust. 
They have three receivers, one in the backfield is really an H-back. They're going to try Fullen back to the short side, this time stacked up, even though his H-back, and they call him a fullback, but I'm going to continue. That's really an H-back in this form. That's always the, 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 what I've been called, and that, that's what he does is, is the reason he's an H-back. He moves from side to side. Sometimes he'll be a little further. Sometimes he'll be a little closer. But they're coming across the line of scrimmage right there, and, and he's coming in a semi misdirection play it sure is there's a slot to this side actually a slot to both sides one man in the backfield with cannon that's fulling we're not always know the where guy yeah always know where petrowski <laughs> is and there's a timeout jackson christian calls a timeout we'll call a timeout too and come back to the ball game blitz And we are back. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, sorry about that, Coach. And they bring number nine to this side. This is Ellis Fullen. Nick's Fullen is the running back in the backfield. With Again, with two wide outs to each side, three down linemen. They send a man in motion to the left. Now he'll set up as the H-back. And they're going to run the little shuttle pass almost like it's a screen. And it's complete for a gain of about two. Yeah, and, and once again, is they have they have run about eight plays right now in this drive, and every single one of them have been from a different formation and going in a different direction. I don't think that they're, they're just going to open the playbook as wide as you can open it up. And third and seven is what the board says. It's about seven and a half, and they will go with three receivers to the right, not a true trips, a single receiver. To the left, and they don't mind cranking the javelin up. They've got a receiver. We've got to make the tackle. We push him out of bounds. That's Mosley. He's short of the first down, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Oh, there's no question they're going to, Coach. And, and I'm going to tell you, their whole passing game, the, the quarterback for the, the Rebels is number eight, Sam Cannon. He's a senior quarterback, and you can tell that most of their passing game is timing passes that he's throwing to his spot, and they know exactly when they're supposed to be there. It, it's not a whole lot of looking to see if you're open. DeLuco, a single receiver down to the bottom of the screen. Here comes the linebacker, and we're offsides, and so they will get the first down by penalty. You know, I mean, you, you've got to have a little bit more discipline as you come through there. I know what he was wanting to do, and he had that hole complete. If he would have come to a stop and waited for the snap, he's still going to have that hole. So that, that's just something that he's, you know, I don't mind a mistake like that too much. That's an aggressive mistake, and you can make them every now and again. Ball on the 29-yard line, first and 10. That's Jackson Christian's 29 to the right side of the field. Cannon at quarterback. Nix Fullen is the – this is the pistol. Two receivers to the bottom of your screen. And they're going to throw the short one again, and they will nitpick you to death. That's DeLuco with the catch. He's brought down there by Jackson Christian defender. We'll have to pick that up in a moment. But they have not missed. They're four for four on their passing game. Yeah, and, and he just steps up, steps back, gets a snap, goes down, and he's there, you know, maybe three-yard turnaround spot throw, bang. If he hadn't made some bad throws last week, they nitpicked. And here's a nice hole again for Fullen. He'll be short of the first down. But uh, this is Nick's Fullen, number 22. They are just literally picking us apart with the short stuff. Yeah, and, and Coach, right now, if I'm if if I'm correct, I'm making my little my little dashes. This is the twelfth play of this drive for the Rebels as they are bound and determined to keep Jackson Christian's potent offense off the field. Third and one. They, they check the sideline. The strength of the formation is actually to the left. They send a man in motion. It's the pass, not the jet sweep. They've got the first down and driven back is number nine, Ellis Fuller. 
Yeah, he got enough for the first down, and they, they know they're not going to beat us to the outside, but what they're going to do is string it out and look for that little slit that they can get in, and that gap opens up. He hits it. Coach are going to mock him yeah, short. They say he's short. No. Nope, now they're going to the change. <laughs> I don't know what was going. I saw the fourth down marker pop up there. Well, that, and uh, they didn't administer this one like we're used to seeing. Again, it's Nick Fullen and Sam Cannon in the backfield. Jackson Christian linebackers up on their toes, leaning one's coming on this one. They go outside, but a great play over there, and that looks like, is yes, that is our normal tight end, but he's been playing more of the linebacker spots, and that is Daniel Green. Well, Daniel Green just did an absolutely fantastic job right there of just coming across the line. He got his block engaged, and, Coach, he had those hands right underneath his shoulder pads, not grabbing him, but then he could direct him where he wanted him, shucked him off, and made a tackle for a 10-yard loss. And it looks like it is second and 16. Green, a big linebacker. They're going to try full again, running away from the big man this time, but a little better job, and we stack it up in the hole on the bottom. I see Wyatt Jones. And with holding it, it looks like Joey Carr held on to the tackle. Yeah, Joey Carr did a really, really good job of wrapping him up and then got a host of those Royal Blue jerseys as we come in. Coach, we're going to afford, I mean, third down behind the chains. I would expect you're going to see something thrown possibly to the first chain, not the second one down, or a timing pattern to the corner of the end zone, probably caught about the 10. This is a four down situation here. Two wide receivers to each side. Nick's fulling in the backfield. We've got three down. And our outside linebacker showed his hand. He was coming on this one, and he's still coming. They drop back, no pressure to speak of. That's the thing that hurt him at TCA is the low outside pass. And, First and miss. he's throwing it too soon. He's going to have to let the play develop. His receiver goes down, and that ball was released. And his receiver took three steps. And, Coach, they're going to go for a field goal. You saw this young man warming up. What was he hitting from? He, this is right here. This will be a 40-yard kick. And this, he has a few feet left after uh, 40 to get it over. he got a good, strong leg. Let's see if we rush it. You also got to play. That's the quarterback holding, so you have to play it safe. It's down. Washington's kick, it looks good. Let's see what the referees, uh, they say no good. Of course, it was too high to use the goal post to judge if it was good. Yeah, it went over. That's Nathan Washington kicking from them, and he just attempted it from the 30, which makes it a 40-yard field goal. And, Coach, they hit one of the white tents that are literally 10 yards over past the goal post. He had the distance very easily from 45-46 just off target, but we got to remember that he has the leg to get it there. He's got a very strong leg. We bring our first unit out, Daniel Green at tight end. Mosley and Banky to this side. Green is opposite. Now, are we short a player or are we go with two tight ends? Okay, it's trips. I cannot see around the monitor here, and that looks like Austin Kelly that is closest to our sideline. And you said it earlier, that is Mr. Phillips. Okay, I wasn't uh, sure whether that was Steve yeah, or not. I, His dad recently passed away yeah, in our condolences. As definitely. we haven't mentioned that Darby pa uh, Palmer, our head coach's dad, passed away uh, earlier in the week. That's, yes, did. And, okay, and, uh, now what? Okay, they didn't set it on the 20. And that's the proper spotting of the football. That's it, not the 25. That's yeah, uh, that's, that's only for kickoffs, isn't it, <laughs> or something. Here's Boyd worming his way through, and I hate to use the term worming, but, I mean, he was moving and had all kinds of slick moves in there like an earthworm does, and he gets across the 30 for our initial first down. Sounds weird with us up seven to nothing, but uh, a nice gain of about 14 yards for Boyd. Yeah, Priest Timberlake, number three for the Rebels, just barely was able to get a hand and trip him up, or Boyd is down in the end zone right now celebrating. Got one-on-one -on -one coverage with Kelly out here. Mosley goes to the left, and he does draw some attention. They're playing a one high safety. The snap to Boykin. Boykin gives to Boyd. He chukes. He cuts. Now he's hit after about a two, maybe a three yard gain there. He had some ideas. 
and he sees it better than I do from this side angle. He gets to see where the holes are. He will, and Coach, I will tell you just real, real quick right there, as I was looking down, I got to see number 74, Aiden Childers was down there, and the tight end, Daniel Green, were blasting a linebacker seven yards down the field. Well, they like to kick those linebackers, double team on nose men. Here's a quick pass out here to Mosley. Needs one block. He'll need a second one, but a nice gain and a first down. He's still on his feet, chugging away across the 50, the 45, and down to the 42 in Tipton Rosemark territory. Yeah, and, and um, a good pass that they had as it was down and to the right. It almost looked like it was backwards at one point, and then he turned it up, followed his blocks. Coach, our offense is firing on all cylinders right now. We're, we're able to execute against the Rebels and get what we want. We are doing a very good job. Very proficient offense, that and, barbecue and you got to get out good. on top of it. Looks like <laughs> Blake Rowland has checked. No, that's not Blake. That is actually 13. Can't see the numbers sometimes from the angle. Nice catch by Austin Kelly. Should have the first down. Nice throw by Gage Boykin. Man, Gage that time. That's what I love to see. He got himself over there and in position as he rolled to the, to, to the left, which is the worst way in the world for a right-handed quarterback. But when he got ready to throw it, you saw those hips completely come into line on the way that he wanted to throw it, and he threw a bullet. Great point by David. Here comes Kelly left, Banky in the slot, Mosley isolated, but there's two men. Let's see if they bring 21 now. We shift. The strength of the formation is green coming this way. They hit Mosley. He needs a block, but he got all that yardage without any blocks, Dave. And he's still going. Yeah, there's a pile of them that are going to fall down for a gain of nine, and or actually maybe eight. But you know, it it, it once again you, you end up with that situation that it's uh, uh, just pretty much whatever we want to do is what we want to do. And then after the catch, they got around him, pushed him seven yards, and we're going to have a sideline warning against Jackson Christian right here. We're just being enthusiastic. Yeah. Second and one, the ball is on the 22. On the left hash mark, wide side, you got Kelly and Banky, and again, they go with Mosley isolated to the left. One high safety, but he's more towards the middle of the field. I thought he might be shading. We could get the uh, short post right oh, now. Yes. Yeah. And deep it, post, it would be deep one post probably would work. Yeah, one on one with the safety at that point, and I, I like our odds. And we're sending in motion. Here's the look in just a little behind Kelly, and we had something cooking at the Kellys. Well, Coach, you called it right right there. That wasn't the absolute post, but, <laughs> but it was the delayed post that went in there. And if the ball is is delivered on target, he's one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Absolutely. I'm and he's gone, too. Trust me, Austin, <laughs> who plays shortstop on the baseball team. I think Coach has got the, the, the offensive coaches in his ear somewhere. That was great. They, the two men in the backfield, we're going to fake and then run the cross buck to Boyd. Boyd is loose in the secondary. Could the little man go all the way? Yes, he does. What do you have? Touchdown, Jackson Christian man. and Cam Boyd. Boyd was absolutely great, and he just took it and exploded and got down through there, and we were ready to get in that end zone, and it is just a wonderful, wonderful night with our offense. And once again, we do apologize. We're having technical difficulties up here because everything had to get flipped around. We're trying very, very hard to work it out, but we walked in and it was working, and now it's not. So Let's we're go trying on, to do it. on to attempt the extra point. Here's the hole by Kelly. The snap is up. The kick is good. It is 14 to nothing in spite of no internet by Jason, JDA. It, yeah, it is. And, and you know, we, we had to redo everything, so some things got mixed up. and. When we get this fixed, I think we're going to turn the camera on Stephanie and watch her dance a jig. Okay. She's let's, going to get it. Let's take a short time out here on the Ball Game Blitz. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. 
We are back, just about ready for kickoff here at the 242 mark, up 14 to nothing, Cisco to hit it. And uh, usually back for them is Petrowski is one of them. We'll pick up the other young man. This one headed towards the end zone. He, going, going, gone. No, that's not Aaron Judge. That is Zach Cisco. <laughs> And congratulations to Mr. Judge. You know, I think a lot of the people who remember back in the days of Social McGuire and all that would actually call Aaron the actual, the, the king of it because of all the mess was going on. But once again, Coach, I can't say this enough. Cisco is such a weapon to have. Not only does he kick field goals, but if you know that the team's going to start on the 20, you remove all chances of a big play on a return. You're right. First and 10 on their own 20. They'll bring two receivers, and DeLuco getting a lot. Dominic DeLuco, 11th grader, getting a lot of time. He's over there with one of their fine wideouts, Ellis Fullen, and they don't mind throwing over the top. we got Collins and Mosley with coverage to this side. One high safety is Elijah DeMoss. They send a man in side motion, but really he's the blocking back. Now there's the out pattern, and that's, that's something, like I said, that hurt them last week. And you get it close enough now, Ellis Fullen will catch it. Well, and once again, is every single pattern that they're in is a timing pattern. He's not throwing to the receiver. He's throwing to a spot. He knows where the receiver is supposed to be. And when your timing is off on that and Jackson Christian is disrupting the time, he's, they're, they're, they're getting that little chip on him when he leaves, it ain't going to work. You're going to have to go to something where you can see before you throw. Slot right. With two wide receivers, a true wing back now, almost like a trip situation. And um, they fake. They're going to run the little quick out over there. And slinging him down is Carrier with a nice tackle. Yeah, that was really, really, really good. And, and, and as you said, Carrier, Trent, just really, I mean, that's a good tackle. He got the receiver down about seven yards, six yards downfield. Called him, held him right there, and then put him down with a little bit of authority. I think they ought to outlaw drones. There were people that should have been watching the game were watching the drone fly in the west end zone. <laughs> Third and five ball on the 25. Well, they're saying on the 26 now is where it's spotted. Cannon's still your quarterback. It's a pistol. And here's the quick one, and he threw it before the man made a break. And that and was DeLuca. And that's what it is. And, and you know, there's, there's, uh, there's just the way that the offense is set up. It's not that it's bad. It's just the way that you have it. You have a quarterback that is not very tall. You have a quarterback also that uh, his arm is good, probably within a 15-yard range. But after that, it's going to float on him. So they throw to a spot. And right now their timing is off, and it's because Jackson Christian is throwing them off. Well, now Washington does punt for them, but this is not Washington. And, Dave, I can't see the number, but he's kicking. It's one step. Oh, it's Petrowski. And what a f – oh, come on. Yeah, I think they're just going to get running into, but it's but not going to matter. It's going to be five yards. And uh, – He didn't run into it. That was an Academy yeah, Award. It was. So they're going to give him the five yards, uh, which it's not roughing, which would have been automatic. It's just a five-yard running into the kicker, but that five yards is going to put him beyond the stakes, first and ten. Yes, it'll be first and ten for the Rebels. And, and uh, Coach, I would like to say, uh, last night we had one of the most horrific injuries that I have seen in a long time. It wasn't that a bone got turned this way or the other, but uh, the, the the quarterback for the Dolphins, uh, Tua, just uh, – He it, shouldn't have been playing. No, he shouldn't have, and it's going to come out. But that don't let that scare you away from this game. It's in everything. And coming out to this side is the – Wide out, the Fullen, who's a good one. Petrowski, the other side. And they've got a good balanced passing game. Two men in the backfield with Cannon. And they're going to go up the middle. And we got penetration. And that's what we got to have is good penetration. There's a whole flock of eagles back there. I know Craig is one of them, but he's not the only one. Yeah, It looked like the big man, Cedric Anderson's in there. Yeah, Cedric Anderson's in on there. And we just came hard. We just crashed down off the end. There was no way in the world that they were going to sit there and stop uh, Mr. Newsom, and he just blew the whole thing up, and he ran him right into who? Mr. Anderson. Absolutely. Here comes Fullen to this side along with DeLuco. It's second and 11. 
see our dog linebacker, Caleb Newsom, and he backed off like he was going to go into coverage, but he's fixing to come. There is the wing back to this side. They've got a man across the middle. Our linebackers weren't in the hook zone, and it's going to be another first down, a gain of about 16 yards. Well, Caleb come from that, from that outside, and as he came from the outside and crashed in, he was picked up very, very good by the, by the running back. And, Coach, once he decided that he was coming, and he did, he vacated that part of the, of the field. Their receiver slipped right in there for a very easy slant first down. And we don't have the replay to check that, but the linebackers have to drop in the hook zone to stop that pass. You yep. pick one off and go all the way. Let's see how we play our inside linebackers this time. Mosley has switched sides, and he's taking the slot man this time. Single wide receiver to the right. They go off a right tackle. And there's a hole you could drive a Mack truck through across the 30-yard line and a great gain by the Knicks Fulham, and that's Knicks N I X Fulham. Yeah, we can't we can't run alongside him and try to and try to dog wrestle him down. We got to put some wood on him right there. But I'll promise you, he hit that hole and was absolutely gone. And the first quarter has ended with Jackson Christian up 14 to nothing and Tipton Rosemark threatening. Let's take a timeout on the ball game blitz. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. For anyone contemplating pre-planning, we can tell you from our experience, it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived. And we are back. Uh, you missed a play. It was a pass into the end zone. It was supposed to be not a fade route, but an over-the-shoulder catch. Our defensive back did a pretty good job with position. That was Carrier then. And he's got his work cut out for him because he's got Ellis Fullen. Yeah, and, and that was the first deep ball that they decided that they were going to turn to try to outrun somebody. And I do not recommend doing that. Well, they can return the favor now, David. They can throw the uh, post pattern yep. against us right now because of where our focus is. And they may try a fade or a back shoulder throw again. They're going to give it to Nick's Fullen. He's got a nice hole. It was closed, though, very quickly. It looked like our linebacker scraped up in there. Yeah, he surely or did. that was Joey Carr. Which one? Well, it was well, Joey Carr. Yeah, it was Joey Carr. He, he just – it looked like he had the opening right there. And Joey said, stop right there. Yeah, and I mean, put a good, good lick on him, but better wrapped him up, got him to the ground. Eight carries for 36 yards unofficially. We'll hear from Greg Armour at halftime. Slot right. Fullen out there. We'll check and see who is in the slot for them. That may be the tight end, Carson Funk. It is, and there's one wide out to the other side. They're going to try the running play again. We They break a tackle, and now the football's loose. Who's got it? it looks like Jackson Christian, Dave. Yeah. Coach, we just blew that up. That, there were more blue jerseys in the back messing up that play, and, and we just disrupted it to the point that that ball hit the ground, and there was no question who was going to get that. There wasn't but six navy blue jerseys standing yeah. around it, no white jerseys at all. Dave, by some chance, did you see who recovered the fumble? I, but I, I want to give credit to hit now. That was a great hit. Yes, it, it, it was, and, and there was two or three that got them, and they're going to go hurry up here, Coach. And I don't blame them. Looks like Lance rolling on. We'll see if that's Banky in the slot. Mosley is closest 
to the backfield, but it's a trips type formation. We leave it laying on the ground. Here's Kelly, the throw, and it's one on one. Mosley, he gets by one man, gets by two. It's now foot race time, and if you don't knock him out of bounds at the angle, he is gone with the wind. Well, we got a bobble snap. It's a snap that that either we took our eyes off of, but it hit the ground. But he kept his cool. Got it in his hands, watched it all the way until he picked it up, threw it to the receiver, and then he just turns it on and has a big run to get a first down, what looked like a busted play. Absolutely. And a nice throw by Kelly. We'll check and see uh, where Gage Boykin is on this. This is Kelly sprinting left, looking, looking, and now he's going to have to tuck it and run the football. Heads and Cuts just short of the 50. Yeah, that's Mr. Austin right there. Yeah, who had that ball. And, and he's going to get him some plays in. Um, I don't know, is, is Gage out there? Or has he come over to get some instruction? Because Austin Kelly is running the team right now, Coach. He is running the team right now. And I don't see Gage. Uh, I know we got his hand stepped on last week. Second and four. Six-yard gain for Kelly. Strength to the right, they come back, pull the guard to the left. Here's Boyd loose, the 35, the 30, the 25, the 10, the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touchdown. Cam Boyd into Jackson Christian Eagles. Coach, I'll tell you, the, the biggest mistake was made by the defensive back for Tipton Rosemark, and, and, and you'll see a lot of high school players, is he planted his feet, got in an athletic position, and was ready to make a move, but he wasn't moving his feet at all, he just planted him, and Boyd just gave him a little dead leg, cut it to the left, and was untouched as he goes into the end zone. Boyd, 50 yards at the 10:36 mark in the second quarter. Jackson Christian up, 20 to nothing. Zach Cisco on Kelly to hold. Wide Jones snap, it's down, it's up, it looks good, and the officials say it is good. The score, 21 to nothing at the 10.36 mark in the second quarter. Let's take a timeout on the ball game blitz. For anyone contemplating pre-planning, we can tell you from our experience, it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived. And we are back at Homecoming 2022 with, and uh, we will see the band, I understand, David. Yes, time. tonight. This, okay. It is 21-0. Now, don't get mistaken. Tipton Rosemark has moved us up mm -hmm. and down the field. But to kick off is Zach Sisko and Petrowski, one of the deep receivers. This one looks like it's going to get the end zone and gets into there for another touchback. I know that's at least six in the last two weeks. Yeah, and, and he's two for two on not allowing runbacks in this game, and uh, I'm not going to repeat the same old thing about what a weapon he is, but uh, we have spited Mr. Mr. Gage. He's standing down there, and uh, Mr. Boykin's got his helmet on, and uh, I, I think he's just getting a little bit of a rest right now. Uh, very commanding score with 10:36, so it may be time to – just let him take a break. Absolutely. And, of course, C-75 in the ball game. That's Kyle Christian, the dog linebacker. Caleb Newsom is to the Jackson Christian side of the field. Tipton Rosemark traveling from left to right. They'll have the football about four yards off of the right hash mark. Very tight formation except for the slot to the left. The splits are not very big either. That's a chunk of a fullback right there in H-back. Almost – an interception by Mosley. He broke that pass up. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Coach, Mosley was just one step away. He saw it one second late and jumped the route, and it just did go 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 right by his hands. Great job by Mosley. got to be careful. He has great closing he speed. Does. Oh, well, he wouldn't have had any, any closing speed at all for 20 yards. No, they could have just turned and watched him. Elijah DeMoss <laughs> is playing the one high safety, and uh, Mosley has come to this side to see who he can pick up. He also plays a safety when we go too high. And uh, we got single coverage out to the left of our formation. They 
pull the H back. They throw over there to DeLuco, and he is driven back. A nice tackle over there. That's probably Jack Collins making that play, and it is. It is. Jack Collins is, is over on that side, and, Coach, we're putting the best defense that we can put on them. We're, we're daring them to throw the ball deep across the middle, which we know that they're not going to do. So we're giving their receivers about five yards, and all they're doing is, is just playing back. When the ball's released, they're breaking on it. Third and a big four, and uh, this is a, a possession down because they're deep, although they went for it last week at TCA in the first quarter. They've changed the play. Here's Cannon with the snap. They fake. They're going with the out, and no, don't drop that flag because that was good play right there. Yeah, it was. It, it was a good play. And, Jack Collins. And, and, you know, is there a rule called an uncatchable ball in high school? No, no, but use common sense, and that's exactly what Mr. Carson just did right there. That ball was uncatchable, and it really wasn't anything rough, so that's a good no call. And Rusty has coached before, and they uh -huh. are going for it. Well, Coach, 20, yeah, I mean, I, I don't say that I agree with this. Do you play that, press coverage here, David? You go after him. You just go after him right here. I mean, what is he? He may be 5'8". With it 21 to nothing, Tipton Rosemark wants to talk about it. We're going to talk about it here on the Ball Game Blitz Network. And we are back here. We have no internet tonight, so please forgive us, folks. It is fourth down and four. Collins has got a very important receiver, but they've got a good man to the top. Now, they should have moved then. Yeah, that, That's, that is full and that moved. Yeah, that, and Rusty got it over here, and there was no question. He, you know, and, Coach, it's that old, old adjective that says that you are that far out, you can't hear the quarterback. You should never jump off sides because you're just waiting for the ball to move. See, Will Hughes, 21, has come in, and I'm not sure they're still uh, they're still going for it, Dave. Oh, man. Well, Fourth and nine. It must be a running clock, Coach. Collins adjusts his position. Mosley has picked up the receiver. He's going to guard him man to man. They try to fan outside. They go across the middle and it's dropped, and the ball will go over on downs as they try to hit Fuller. And, Coach, that wasn't going to get the first down if that's a completed pass. I mean, that. Yeah. Uh, that pass was possibly maybe four or five yards past the line of scrimmage, and we completely uh, had it caged in down through there. And, and I'm looking and scanning the sidelines, and it looks to me like uh, Mr. Gage is going back in. Yeah, all right, well, here Lord, we go. We're just alternating them in, in and out right now. Let, Lord, giving him back some, in, yeah. Yeah, giving him some first, first, first team reps. Ball on the 21 of Tipton Rose marks only 21 yards away from pay dirt. Boyd on the left side of the formation. Banky and Roland over here. Dropping back, lofting it into the end zone. Does Roland have it? Yes, Roland has it for the touchdown. Well, Boykin just takes two steps back, and once again, he looks like he has worked and worked and worked on that. He set that back foot and just threw a Beautiful spiral and dropped it right in the corner of the end zone in the east end. And, Coach, that's the kind of throw that if we make, nobody can defend it. Absolutely. Good hands by Roland. Good pitch by Gage Boykin and Cisco. And Kelly will team up for the extra point with the snap. It's down. 
It's up. It looks good. The old goalpost disappeared. It is good. With the score, 28 to nothing in favor of the Jackson Christian Eagles at homecoming on the ball game blitz. Let's take a timeout. It's time for the fourth annual Lifeline Car Giveaway. And Joe Mahan Ford is proud to donate a car again this year. Give blood with Lifeline between Memorial Day and Labor Day for a chance to win a 2019 Ford EcoSport. Join Lifeline. And Joe Mahan Ford and give blood this summer. Back here at Ronnie Fowler Stadium. Eagles lead 28 to nothing. Cisco, let's see if he can reach the end zone one more time. It's high enough to get back there. It's out of here for a home run. No, this is in the end zone. We'll bring it out to the 20. Well, three for three. And I tell you what, I don't see any, any chance of it not going through either way. Once again, old Glory is not waving. And if there's no wind in his face, he's going to get it to the end zone. They have started at their own 23 times. They've had it at the 33 once. Now, we will kick off to them to start the second half. It's nine minutes, though, and counting. Actually, nine minutes and 23 seconds and counting. Deluco comes out here matched up with Carrier. We'll check the far side. Nicks, this is the pistol. You've got a blocking back. They call him the fullback, and they're going to give to the tailbacks. Nick's full, and this time he's cut. He broke it back against the green. We tried to do some arm tackling and reaching. Got a nice gain. Should be a first down. Well, I, 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 once again, that was a great job of running. Uh, we had it contained pretty good, but he made a good move to the left, back to the right, and then just kept it going that way to get a good gain for a first down. And they bring number three, Priest Timberlake, and he is solidly built over there. He is more like a wing back this time. Again, with the two wide out situation, power to the short side of the field, but they don't mind coming back to the weak side. Not at all. This time the normal spread, not the true pistol. They fake. They're going to crank the javel up. It's foot race. Collins. Collins has got it and intercepts it at our 36-yard line. Great job by Jack Collins. Well, uh, there's there's no question. He played that about as good as you can do it, and uh, he uh, he just put it put himself in a great position that the ball was thrown, thinking that he was open. And once he realized that he wasn't open, he breaks on it, makes a great interception, and squashes that drive. They're going to put it down on the 37s. That seven, Jack Collins with the great interception. Dave, I don't think you could have played it any better. No, absolutely. And, and it was just a great job. And that, that's the deepest pass that they've thrown, and I don't think you're going to see them do that again. Eagles first and ten with Boykin in there, quarterback. Elijah DeMoss has it, tries the left side, bounces it outside. He gets a nice block out here and uh, comes out of bounds at about the 47-yard line in the territory of Tipton Rosemark. Yeah, nothing fancy about that. Just DeMoss, we got a player for Tipton Rosemark that down it looks like a crown, but DeMoss just absolutely just sweeps to the right, power everything going right, and he gets it for another first down. And, Coach, Training staff's done gotten onto the field. We're probably going to look at a medical timeout here. Yes, well, let's take a, a short time out here on the Worthy Road Studios Network and the ball game blitz with the score 28 to nothing. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
We are back here with an injury timeout. Dave, the elementary team finished their season last night at 7-1. and one. The middle school won this week, and a good week for homecoming at Jackson Christian. And I see my man, not only does he play on the elementary team and scored a touchdown or extra point, I think it was extra points, Mac Nash is helping <laughs> to carry the water out there. You know, we had Nash on, uh, Max was on two weeks ago. His dad, a, a legendary player here early in the 90s, I believe. Yes. And uh, the, uh, of course, Cam Boyd is chasing, I believe Ronnie Reagan is the all-time leading rusher here. And Cam has, I know, moved into third. And if we play enough games this year, he will catch him. He's going to catch him. He's, and and this, this may be one of those games that's going to help him. With what? Boykin back in at quarterback again. Yeah, two backs in the backfield. One of them's really a blocking back. And this is DeMoss. It's the pitch, the two-handed pitch. We get a good out kick block. There's a nice change of pace move driven out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Let's see if they give him the 28, and they do. Well, and, and, and what a fantastic – I'm trying to get this right. Fantastic job. I'm telling you, we, right now we can go anywhere we want to, Coach. Yeah, I think they've tired and, and – but they had a couple of good drives. Let's give them credit. Tipton no, Rose Mark did, but they didn't get anything in, and sometimes that takes a lot out of you mentally, too. Well, no, no question, no question at all. Wide side of the field to the right. We're in with Boyd handing or getting handed off to him. He's gone. Kiss him. Goodbye. 28 yards, and that was DeMoss at quarterback. Yeah, DeMoss takes a snap into, you know, the, he's in the pistol, and uh, Boyd comes across the middle and looks like he's going to go all tackle, and then once again plants that right foot, takes it to the left, and once he cuts a beeline to the to the pylon coach, there's no way in the world that anybody was going to get near him. And, I mean, I'm telling you, uh, they may be asking for a running clock before. Oh, I've got him unofficially for 118 yards in five carries. Man, he is running it. Of course, the long one is the 50-yarder that he had. Dunk. And it's up and good by Zach Sisko. And with the score, 35 to nothing, let's take a timeout on the ball game blitz. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. We are back getting ready for kickoff. You see Zach kind of stretch his leg out a little bit. Remind you, this contest is also brought to you by Aloha Pools, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air, Hub City Deli, Live Hydration and Spa. And we'll be at Hub City Deli Tuesday night for the Jackson Christian Eagles show. Great setting. They have the Peggy, Piggy Sue right now. And um, here's Cisco to hit the ball. This one a, more of a line drive type. And again, kiss it goodbye. Now, if he was in home run derby, he'd be winning right now. <laughs> he would. And Coach, he missed that one. He didn't catch that one yeah. as good as he wanted to. So, I mean, immediately he just, I'm oh man. James Wilhoyt, his uh, mentor as far he takes lessons from him. And that's an is old, very, uh, very proud of Zach's progress. That's an old Tennessee boy, ain't he? Yeah, it sure is. Will Hoyt. Looks like Lipscomb Academy's up forty four to nothing. And uh Nashville Christian up over Franklin Grace, 20 to nothing. So the goose eggs are hanging across the scoreboard and the state. Yeah, this is division week, ain't it? Yes, the region it week. Region week. Ball equidistance from the sidelines, although they've shaded it to the right a little bit. Tight formation, they, and they have a multiplicity of formations at Tipton Rosemark. Cannon still in at quarterback with Fullen in the backfield. It's a passing play. They flood the zone, flush him out of the pocket. They throw short. And a nice catch by the Fullen that time. Now, it wasn't the Fullen running back. This was the other one, Ellis Fullen. There's a whole lot to do about nothing right there that gained a yard. Uh, it looked good, and I, I thought he was going to take something a little bit different uh, to downfield, but uh, he decided just to 
very, very easily let it go. Well, if it hadn't been for the pressure, he might have tried the guy that was on the seam route. Yeah, that would have been a yes. They're calling it a gain of two. It's more like one and a half. Carrier's got coverage over here on DeLuco. Three receivers to the left, trips. We're in man coverage, one high safety, Elijah DeMoss, who was the quarterback on that handoff to the touchdown. They faked the running play to Fullen, flushed, and he didn't even get out of the pocket. And there's Caleb Newsom. Caleb was very nice to him on that tackle. Yeah, he was. He could have, he could have just blown him up, but uh, he decided to take it easy. And uh, instead, we're going to knock him back behind and put him behind the chains, which means that there is more than 10 yards to go. Third and 13. The ball is on the 17-yard line of Tipton Rosemark. And let's see, I'm sure they're going to call for a pass play here. Remember, Jack Collins had an interception, the last possession that Tipton Rosemark had. Cannon in the backfield. Nick's Fullen with Cannon, who's the quarterback. Sam Cannon. And again, we've got a wide out to the right. Got a, we'll call him a wing back. He hesitates. Oh, that's 21 Hughes. This one thrown along, and the only person that could have caught it and Jack almost had a, another interception. And did we not play that well? We had him covered outside, and we had him covered inside on the seam, and we were converging on it. And if that ball would have been thrown on target, we would have intercepted that, no question. They're lucky that that ball went. And, Coach, now I you see, don't do this. I don't see Petrowski, and I haven't seen him in a couple of series. I wonder if he is hurt. And Petrowski is the normal punter. Now, supposedly, Nathan Washington can punt. Well, bottom line on this is, is that you can't complain about the score being tremendously lopsided when you're going for it. Fourth the, and 13. Dave. Yeah. On the, on the, what, 17? Yeah, four wideouts, two on each side. Cannon, your quarterback. Here comes Caleb on a delayed rush, and he's going to flush him. Makes him throw early, but they got this one off, and they'll get the first down. And, folks, that is cat burglar style. Yes, it is. And that pass could not have been thrown any better for him to be going totally backwards. And it was in the only spot that just had broken between the linebackers and the backs. And they convert a fourth down and, what, 14 from their own 17-yard yeah. line. Good play by them. They have it on their own 36 now. First and 10. Ball between the hash marks, and again, they go with the same formation. DeLuco is to the far side. Looks like full into this side. Don't know who the other two receivers are. Cannot see their numbers. Cannon and Nick's full, and they're going to send full in, the other full in, in, and now too much time is what he's got to be, Dave. Yeah, got to be. We're going to have the little hanky-panky. Delay in the game, and what they'll do on that is uh, they're going to move it back five yards. Coach, we'll do it again. Yeah. Dave, can you sing a few verses of My Baby Drives a Hanky Panky? My baby drives a hanky panky. <laughs> and, of course, one of the okay? favorite games in elementary school was <laughs> Drop the Handkerchief. Drop the Handkerchief. I yes. didn't play that one. I, I dropped it when I had a booger in it. <laughs> oh, uh, Anyway, uh, number 18, that's Funk, Carson Funk, in, uh, up on the line of scrimmage. This is actually an outside receiver off, which is the other Fullen, Ellis Fullen. Two receivers to the right, and they're going to send Ellis Fullen in motion. Let's see if they try to work something with him. It makes it trips right. And did they do it again? No, there were still four seconds on the clock. Yeah, no, they – Somebody moved. Yeah, somebody they? moved on that. Okay, we're moving back negatively right now. Ball will be all the way back at, let's see, the 25-yard line. They say actually the 26. It'll be first and 20. Uh, now with inflation, thanks to our <laughs> president, uh, you, this would the $2 cab ride is now a $4 cab ride. Yeah, it, it is. Call an Uber. Will Hughes guarded by Mosley. It looks like Carrier has DeLuco. Here's the rush. The ball is up in the air, and they hit that pass again for about 11 yards, and they're throwing in front of us. We're trying to keep them in front. Let's be, we're saying we're going to bend but not break. Yeah, first down right there. Uh, I mean, not first down. He, he got all of it back and got back in front of the, cha the chains, 
And Coach, uh, once again, they're throwing to his spot, but right now he is able to, uh, to see and figure out where he needs to drop that ball in. Blake Rowland with the tackle, Lynn. They bring DeLuco to this side. He'll match up against Jack Collington. I think we're just matched up man to man with the one high safety linebackers at pretty well normal depth, and they are not coming. They send Fullen in motion to the right of the formation. They give to Nick's Fullen, and we've got penetration. I'd love to know who that is on the <laughs> bottom of the pile. I tell you right now who that is on the bottom of the pile. That is number 58. Big time. He just absolutely blew it up. Joey Carr came in there, Coach, and had him just about the time that the ball was handed to him. Good penetration is big number 75. Caleb Christensen gets in the ball game. Yeah, Caleb in there, and Joey Carter, we call him big time like you call <laughs> Sanders prime time. Again, two receivers to each side. Man coverage. They drop back. Here comes the rush. They have to throw it early. And we came within inches of an interception by Roland and great coming up to help by Jack Collins. Well, and I'm going to promise you right now, that is a classy move by Jack Collins. He could have legally blown him to pieces right there. He was strung out. The pass was high. He went up, and he could have waylaid him. But Jack pulled up and almost helped him back down to the ground. I mean, get on his feet, never went down, and he got a little pat on the back from Tipton Rosemark for helping him out right there. Carson Funk wearing 18 in the slot. Actually, he's up on the line of scrimmage. The other receiver is the flanker. Two receivers to each side. We loosen our secondary. It's fourth and nine and a half. Here's the, it's supposed to be a fade route, and it's up in the air and almost caught. Jack played it as well as he could at the 33-yard line. <laughs> and, and, you know, that was one of those, Coach, that it almost – it almost bounced off the ricochet, and while he was laying on the ground, it almost fell in his bread basket. You know what the good thing about that is? Almost only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and atomic bombs. That's it, atomic bombs, and I love that you put that in there. I'd never heard that, but I do it every time now. You, you just get close on an atomic bomb. Yes, you do. That's just all get you got there. If you, can get, if you can get within the country, you can, you can handle it. It is first and ten for the Eagles, leading 35 to nothing at the two. 19 mark in the second half. If nothing changes, even if the score is the same, it will be a running clock. Here's Gage Boykin looking across. He's got Mosley. Mosley puts one move. Nice tackle by Ellis Fullen at the 20 yard line. Yeah, Mosley. Uh, I mean, he. It, that, that's absolutely what you want to do. Get the ball to your athletes right now. Get their work in because I have a feeling that as we come out for the second half, we're going to run a clock. You'll probably see a lot of faces in there that are going to get some work. But, man, right now, Coach, this, this offense looks good. Yeah, and Boykin, 5 for 6 passing. That last one, 16 yards and a, another first down. See Mosley come to the bottom and reset himself. Banky hustling over here, and he'll wind up lining up outside off the line of scrimmage. Boykin gives to Boyd. Boyd's got a lead blocker in front. Boyd has got one man kind of slowed him up, but he will spin and get into the end zone. 20-yard touchdown. Yeah, Boyd. Boyd. Now, we're going to get a celebration penalty right there. There's no question. There's a flag at the one-yard line, but Boyd just came straight down through there, turned it up, and took it straight to the end zone. Now, he, he powered through a couple of guys to get there. We're going to see what Mr. Parrish says about this hanky that hit the ground at the one. It may be celebration. It's going to be against Tipton Rosemark. I think you fixed see a face mask. And they're going to, yeah, a face mask. They're going to decline it. This is going to be six. And to emulate the great John Ward, give him six. John Ward. Yes. Do you know, we had to talk about that the other day. You know, John Ward never referred to Ole Miss as Ole Miss. He always called him the University of Mississippi. Mississippi, yeah. <laughs> he was a class act, he had was. his law degree. He sure did. And the only sport, he did a few games of the Lady Vols, but he didn't do all of them. They turned it over to uh, somebody else. The kick is up. You pretty well know what I'm fixing to say. It's perfect. <laughs> 42 Is there anything nothing. different? <laughs> Let's take a time out here <laughs> on the ball game blitz. <laughs> No, 
Okay, we are back. That well, was a short time out. Short. We told you it was short. Very quickly, some of our other sponsors are Snookums Restaurant and Snookums. Also, yes, and Lifestyle Vision. Also, Nest Realty. Lonnie Cobb, Ford King Jewelers, Bank of Jackson, Arrington Funeral Home Directors, Kaufman's Furniture, and, of course, the older gymnasium is named for Paul Kaufman, and the Kaufman family had a lot to do since this is homecoming with the creation of Jackson Christian School. And I'll tell you, this place, if you saw it in the in the early 90s and right now, you, would, you, you wouldn't know the joint. You would not know the joint. It's, it's a great place. They improved the facilities. We got a soccer field that you can't see for the trees. Some great tennis courts. The softball field is to our left. Here is Cisco to approach and kick the football. This oh. one, he may have wore his leg out. Nope. No, no, he didn't either. <laughs> uh, it's in the end zone, folks. He missed it. He missed the kick. You don't need instant replay on this. Uh, I promise you, he may have got three quarters of what he wanted because everything else he's kicked has been a rocket. That looked like a wedge, like a little chip shot, like it was going to have backspin on it. And you know what? It just sails sweetly into the end zone three yards deep for another touchback. That's five. Yes. Uh. And he will kick off to start the second half. That'll be six. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. We've got some new faces in there uh, on defense. Is that number nine in for us on defense? And I'll have to it is. go to my roster because uh, we've got some people that's not even on the two deep depth chart. That would be Maurice Lawrence. Okay, we pick up Maurice. See, the one high safety is still uh, Elijah DeMoss. Carry out here. They're going to throw in Carrier's direction. And he had the deep coverage and Blake – Roland almost got out there, but nice catch, and it'll be another first down. Yeah, and and I mean he, you know they're they're moving the football. There's no question they're moving the football, and their offense is successful until they get inside about the 35, and then it's just you can't do this anymore. Well, we're bending but not breaking. There you go. In the spread, they give to Fullen. This is Nick's Fullen, and he'll get a gain of. Possibly three. We'll see where they spot it. Well, Coach, I'll tell you, there was uh, they're going to call timeout. Um, but uh, we're going to hold it here because they're doing a little bit of work back there. But, Coach, uh, there was a uh, – my high school football coach was Alex Hooker. And uh, he was at Fayette Academy under Ken Wyatt for a while, who was my principal. Uh, Alex Hooker ended up taking over the principal, uh, assistant principal's job at Overton High School back in the 80s and uh, obviously went to Fayette Academy under Ken White in the 90s and then took over as the headmaster at Tipton Rosemark for about 17 years. I saw him the last game that I called here at Jackson Christian. Uh, I saw Coach Hooker, and it was very, 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 very nice. You know what it's like when you run into old coaches. And oh, as yeah. an, I'm not meaning this bad, but as an old coach, you know how happy you are to see your your ex players. Well, that's like I saw the Godwin family. Basically, the only one that two that played that wasn't there today out at Northside was Angela, who played on the Smurfs, and then Greg was working. But the rest of the family, including the eldest Cheryl uh, that played in the Godwin boys are like the Yarbrough's yeah. and the Sykes and the people like that. They are legendary at Northside. It's second and six, gain of four on that last one. A quick toss out here. they got two blockers out in front, and it is well played by Wyatt Jones and a host of other young men. And I do mean a host. Look like Daniel Green. Did yeah, it Daniel Green did it, and and coach they ran they ran in him a motion all the way from the wide side across, coming towards the press box side. Everything looked like they were coming this way, and then he turns and throws back against the grain. Didn't fool many people right there because there was seven navy blue jerseys on him. Third down as the clock runs down. Petrowski looks like he is back in the ball game. Aiden Petrowski who's an 11th grade, a very fine wideout, also handles their punting chores. Cannon at quarterback. Strength of the formation to the right. Wide side of the field to the right, and he's getting the play signaled in. <laughs> and the clock runs out. And at the end of one half of play on the Ball Game Blitz Network of Worthy Road Studios, it is 42 to nothing in favor of the Jackson Christian Eagles on homecoming. 
Let's take a timeout. Pub City Deli is honored to sponsor Jackson Christian Athletics. Gourmet chef Peter Thomas invites you in for a totally new experience in craft sandwiches, wraps, and salads. The homemade hoagies are baked fresh. A big favorite is Pete's Brisket Hoagie with Brisket, smoked Texas style. The Hub City Burger is a Jackson favorite. The salads are always fresh and unique. Hub City Deli is open for breakfast as well. Located on Pleasant Plains Extended, just down the road from Jackson Christian. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Lifestyle Vision, located at Thompson Farms, offers patient-centered, comprehensive eye exams. Select your new look with our latest styles from exclusive brands. Come see us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, or schedule an appointment anytime online. Lifestyle Vision, where compassion meets commitment. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choices that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town with another funeral home or even in another state, but we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. And we are back. We're going to turn it over to David and the band. Coach, I'll tell you, this is, uh, I'll refer to them as the biggest little band in West Tennessee. I know that they finished runner-up in the last competition that they were in in the smaller division. And Destiny Holt has done a fantastic job. And let's turn it over right now, and you can see the Jackson Christian marching band.
33 left in the half. Jackson Christian, 42. Tipton Rosemark, no score. We'll be back after these messages.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And welcome back to Ronnie Fowler Stadium, where you're scored to half. Jackson Christian, 42. Tipton Rosemark, a no score. It is homecoming at Jackson Christian tonight. And before we uh, started the game, you saw that the uh, homecoming court was introduced. And if you did miss it, I would like to make sure that you knew uh, that the homecoming queen was... Emma Blankenship. That's right. That's who it was. Emma Blankenship. She's the daughter of Brent and Jennifer Blankenship. Seventh year at Jackson Christian. Christian. She's a vars on the varsity softball team. Member of Alpha Omega Blue Crew, FCA Student Council, and the National Honor Society. She was escorted by Mr. Brandon Riddle, and we would like to say a big congratulations to the entire court and Emma Blankenship. We're joined now by Greg. Greg, man, we did some stuff uh, in the first half, so uh, I'm going to give it to you. Tell us how we got to this score of 42 to nothing. There you go. It works when I turn that up, don't it? That's great. All right, Joshua Christian had seven first downs in the pass department. We passed seven times, played six for 89 yards. Gage Boykin had six attempts, five completions for 78. Austin Kelly had one attempt, one completion for 11 yards. Leading receiver was Jalen Mosley, four for 56. Uh, and also uh, Lance Rowland had one catch for a touchdown of 21 yards. In the Russian department, he was 10 times for 229 yards. Cam Boyd had six rushes for 138 yards and four touchdowns. Jay Mosley had one carry for 52 yards and one touchdown. Elijah DeMoss had two carries for 33 yards, and Austin Carey had one carry for six yards. We had two penalties for 10 yards, no punts, and we had uh, five in the end zone uh, kickoffs by Zach Sisko. For TRA, they had 10 first downs in the passing department. They attempted 23, completing 12 for 95 with one interception. In the Russian department, they were 16 times for 53 yards. They had four penalties for 20 yards, and they did not punt, and they had one kickoff for 50 yards. Yeah, and, and you know, they're going to go for it, <laughs> going for it on fourth and whatever from your own 17-yard uh, line shows that you think you got to score with them. But, uh, you know, the one thing that I've been impressed with is, is that uh, Tipton Rosemark has been able to – Move the ball a little bit, and and their offense is very scripted. Yep. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's there, it's a script, and they're throwing passes to spots, not receivers, uh, and they're doing well. But we're you know we're kind of baiting them into it, and then once they uh, throw that pass where we want them to throw it, we've uh, taken taken the opportunity right. to uh, pick it off. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, I think. This is the best passing game I've seen Gage have in a long time. Mr. Boykin has dropped a couple of dimes right in the bread basket. Right in the bread basket Absolutely. Right. And that's what you want coming off of last week is to come in and to be able to, uh, you, you know, to just brush that aside and have one of your better games. And, and that's what he's doing. Yep. You're on the phone with the coaching staff. You may not know or you may not be able to tell us, but – uh, Austin's been in a several um, uh, uh, series running in, in the quarterback spot. Are they just swapping out? Is he getting some reps with the first team, or is it just, just – uh, My knowledge, you know, uh, I think he's just getting some reps with the first team. Just getting some reps with yeah. the first team because, you know, I mean, you got to look at it this way. That backup quarterback is one snap away from being starting quarterback. That's correct. So, you know, getting him reps with the first – it's not about going out there getting reps with the second team. It's getting reps with that first team and learning the speed that they go on. Um, is, is, is with defensive players who stood out? Uh, uh, Joey Carr had uh, several tackles. And uh, – and Cedric Anderson had two or three good stops in the middle. And uh, and Caleb Newsom had a, a, a good sack there in the backfield. He did. And, and I'll tell you that, uh, you know, when you get right back to it, what you'll see is 
Oh, sorry, I'm putting this phone in here. What you'll see is, is well, I, I saw this, and, and Mr. Collins, it was a pass thrown very close to this sideline over here, and it was high. And Mr. Collins could have blown him up. He could have literally decleated him and blown him up, and it would have been as legal as legal could be. But what a classy act to pull up a little bit. And as the, as, as the player started to come to the ground, he kind of grabbed him and helped him so he didn't fall. The Tipton Rosemark player, you know, gave him a little tap on the shoulder like I appreciate it. And that, that's a mutual understanding between both players that I know you could have absolutely killed me right there and hit me hard. And Mr. Collins knows that he could have done it. But – there's no reason for it. Right. And, you know, that right there shows the kind of class that this team has. Um, you know, it's a 42 to nothing ball game, and I have seen many, many teams that would take that opportunity to just try to hurt somebody. Right. Not Jackson Christian. They're doing it and doing it right. So, well, Greg, we'll see you after the ball game unless there's anything else you got. No, that's all. Well, we'll see you after the ball game, and hopefully you'll still have some lead because I have a feeling it's going to get quite big. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break right now. 123 left before the kickoff. Your score from Ronnie Fowler Stadium, Jackson Christian, 42. Trent Tipton Rosemark, no score. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. At Alive Hydration Drip Spa, we offer top-of-the-line IV nutritional therapy, which has a wide variety of health benefits, from immune system boosters and skin care, fatigue, energy, and even hangover relief. You can be sure we have an IV blend that's right for you. All of our blends are administered by one of our experienced nurses in a spa setting to ensure you leave feeling re-energized and refreshed. Give us a call or visit our website to book your appointment today. We have what it takes to make you feel alive again at Alive Hydration Drip Spa. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Nest Realty Jackson, 
connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. And we are back. We'll be a running clock here. You are watching the ball game blitz at Jackson Christian School. And uh, Dave, uh, impressive, and I know Greg gave the official stats, uh. Zach Cisco to kick off. Well, and, and he's going for sixth into the end zone. And for those that heard Coach say about a running clock, National Federation High School Football says that if the score is 35 points or more in the second half, that the coaches can make a decision to cut the quarters to eight minutes instead of 12, or they will go with a running clock starting at 12, not stopping that clock except for timeouts and injuries in order to keep this from being the blowout that it very well could be. So, Coach, 12 minutes, it'll probably take about 14 or 15 minutes to play each quarter. So, uh, pick out your fans, I mean, pick out your favorite player and watch them quick. That's right. And, of course, Cisco will be there to kick off. Let's see if they put Petrowski back in there. He played towards the end. He missed some of the snaps in the first half. He is the man closest to the Jackson Christian sideline. And here's the kickoff end over end. It could be. It might be. It is in the end zone. (laughs) Six for six. Cisco. Get your heart started again, Dave. Man. Don't try to (laughs) – Okay, broadcasting 101 is make sure your throat's clear before you start trying to talk. And I see Big Cedric has come back out for the second half to start. The Cedric Anderson, a very fine young man. Yes, he being is. a good nose uh, tackle or guard, whichever one you know. In the old days, they called them middle guards, nose guards. Nose guards, middle guard, man in the middle, whatever you wanted. Yeah, Fullen will be guarded by Carrier. Mosley shades this side of the field. Let's see if I can get my mic adjusted right. There we go. <laughs> you having problems today. Uh, no good deed goes unpunished. Remember that. Hand off to Fullen. This is Nick's Fullen. He'll get a couple of tough yards, and right now the Jackson Christian defense making them tough yards. Uh, I, I think what you're going to see right now out of Tipton Rosemark is a whole lot of that. We're going to go off tackle. We're going to go off the tight end side. We're going to do a little bit of misdirection. Nothing fancy. We're just going to run some basic plays and try to get three yards first downs, and try to get on the board. Joey Carr in at the bottom of that last tackle with some help. Three down linemen, the stand-up Caleb Newsom. The one high safety is DeMoss, Elijah DeMoss. We see White Jones out there. Craig is out there. And the ball is on the ground, covered up. And looks like Jack Collins playing one of the Defensive back spots, and Blake Rowland, his familiar number eight. Blake had a great JV game Monday night. That's what I heard. Uh, and, and, and oh, you know, that, that is the, that's the benefit of, of being a good program is, is that when that JV starts playing well, that middle school starts playing well, Coach, a lot of good things can happen. Some of those linemen had a great JV game. I saw some improvement in footwork in that JV game. Did get an injury in it. Lucas Witherspoon had an injury, and I need to check and see if he's even dressed for the varsity game tonight. No, he's not. He's on crutches, I can tell you right now. He's right in front of me. Ball dropped, and it is going to be fourth down. And with Petrowski back out there, surely they will kick the ball. I hope so. Kick the ball, Coach. Don't you dare go for this, because you can't ask us not to score when you're going to hand us the ball in the 15. And, uh, Coach Joe, let me go on record saying something, okay? Okay. I don't David like this. is now on record. I don't like this box down here. I've kicked my shin on this box three times. I the, think I'm going to file a claim. Uh, workman's comp. They are going for it. It is fourth down. Oh, dear. And 15. Here's the snap to Cannon. Cannon drops back, looks over the middle, and the ball goes incomplete. We had good coverage then, David. 30-yard line is where it's incomplete, and we take it over inside the 15-yard line. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just going to say it that it, 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 it's just hard that the fact would be that they, they're handing the ball to us there. 
you know that there's some parents sitting over and have done this all year long because, like you said, they did it against Trinity. Man, it turns into a whole lot of lopsided scores when you hand an offense the ball at 15, Coach. I'm glad I watched that Worthy Road yeah. Productions of Trinity football and listened and watched the great Diamond Dave McCulley work. Here's Jackson Christian, first and 10. Kelly's in there, and now the whistles blow. Somebody dropped the handkerchief. Is it Rusty? That's that Rusty. It? Rusty said, look, there's 11 people on the field. One of them got in a hurry, so we're going to move it back. But you know what? As a referee, the one thing that I knew is when I was marking off penalties or I was doing this or I was doing that, guess what, Coach? That clock was running. <laughs> it was running, but Rusty is consistent. Is. Now, that's what I like. Yeah. And, uh, hey, they're not changing the way they call because of this. That no, was a no, little He's joke. consistent, and yeah. that, that's good officiating. Here's Austin Kelly looking over the top, going into the end zone. Has Mosley. Does he hold it? No, it's loose on the ground. Boy, that's a good pass by Austin, and I'm telling you, he put it on a good, good line for, for Mosley. And once again, that's all you want from your quarterback is to put it where – your man can catch it. Nobody else can. He almost came down with that and got it in the corner of the end zone, but a perfectly thrown ball by the second quarterback right now. Yeah. So Austin Kelly does great. a good job. I mean, that's he the reason does. he plays short, and he pitches for the baseball team. Oh, he does. Yes. I, I knew he played short. I didn't his know he threw the ball. His battery mate is number seven. Wyatt Jones is the catcher. Okay. Now, here's Kelly sprinting right, and he's got – he can do what he wants to, and it looks like he hit the big man, Daniel Green. And Daniel says first down. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. It it's looks not, like it. I don't think it's going to be a first I down. I don't either, but uh, – Daniel did. <laughs> Daniel did. Daniel signed. I love Daniel. Death. Great guy. He's also a good first baseman, but he's strictly concentrating on football. And with his size, yeah. he's got great hands. Plus, he could be – he reminds me of a guy named Green that used to play linebacker in the NFL mm -hmm. a long time ago. Yep. And uh, Would that this be Mean Joe? No, this is another Green. Uh, oh. He was an outside linebacker, and I can't think of his first name right now. But here's the motion to Mosley, the pitch. He's trying the left side. He's got blocking. Boyd throws another one. That is three great blocks as I say, give him six. Well, I'm telling you right now, Coach, hats off to Boyd. That's the third block that he has literally sealed the corner to allow him to get into the end zone, and that's just unselfish play as he goes over to him, Mosley goes over to him and just gives – he gives Boyd a little pat right there and says, thank you, man. I appreciate you springing me into the end zone because that's exactly what you did. Good job, Mr. Boyd, for not being selfish. Well, they teach family here. Coach Darby Palmer, who has had a, a really tough week, lost his father earlier in the week and had to attend that funeral. But Cisco on. Here's the snap. The hole by Kelly. It looks good. And I'm going to close my eyes and say it is good, Dave. I like it went in, Coach. It did. 49 to nothing is the score. Let's take a timeout here on the ball game blitz. Tired of being seen and not heard? At Lifestyle Vision, we believe in patient-centered, quality eye care for West Tennessee, which is why we are locally owned and operated. Come see us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, or schedule an appointment anytime online. Lifestyle Vision, where compassion meets commitment. We are back, as you see, Zach Sisko about to get the football, and I like that when the officials let the young man kind of stretch his leg out like that, Dave. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, it don't take but one. You know, you're not stretched. Of course, he's got a lot of uh, – uh, he's, he's got a lot of action tonight kicking off. Six in the end zone, Coach. Let's see if number seven. If seven, seven is lucky. 70% it's going in. Here's the kickoff. It's up high in the air, end over end. Oh. This one comes down and is fumbled. At about the four, picked up at the five. This is Petrowski, and he is going to be, I would say, Brother Carrier just slung him down. Uh, yeah, I tell you, man, I thought, I thought Trent Carrier was fixing to blow him up. 
But instead, he just, he hit him good, and he stopped him in his tracks, but he could have pancaked him right yes, there. Yes, he could have, and that was very kind. I just – this is great. I mean – Everybody loves the big hit, but there's no reason to be pounding somebody right now. Ball on the 13-yard line, first and 10 for the Rebels with Sam Cannon at quarterback. Nick's Fullen in the backfield. See the tight end has, Funk has come out here. And before anybody, and I know this broadcast will be replayed, I don't think he's kin to Terry Funk, the wrestler, or Dory Funk. But anyway, this one stopped up the middle. There was no hole. The A gap was clogged up, the B gap, C gap, and anything else. And I, well, I guess we need a plumber's union card for stopping up gaps. <laughs> That's when you go back in the huddle and you say, Mr. Sam, Cam, don't call that play no more, okay? <laughs> well, he might be saying, could I run outside? Actually, Sam, I'm going to defend Sam. He gets uh, his calls from the sideline. Yeah, he does. And, and, and sometimes he gets them extremely late. Uh, that, you know, the, they're in that whole process of looking over there. The loss of about a half yard makes it 7-11. Seven, seven no, uh, second and 11. And 7th um, and 11. Here's the snap. Cannon got a look in. Uh, actually, a little slant. And uh, Funk catch, catches the ball. Does a good job with it. He's got good hands. Yeah, he does. And, and. You know, that, I mean, that's where their bread and butter is right there. It's that little short across the middle. Try to hit that slant because your quarterback is all of five foot eight. And we've got to scramble. And, uh, and again, the handoff's full. Of, and he gets tackled from behind this ain't time. No, ain't no telling. That is 75 right there. The big man himself, Kyle Christensen. Man, Kyle Christensen just wrapped him up in the big – abominable bear hug that he put on him and just spun him right around, took him to the ground. Man, I'm going to tell you what, I wouldn't want to be in his grasp. Gain of one at the 255 mark, clock running. You see the Thompson and Smith insurance scoreboard. You can see the time. 248 and going. They're looking to the sideline. Kind of a tight formation. They'll flood the area, run across. That's Vic Fullen or – Pulling with the ball gets about five yards. Well, and we're not in a prevent defense, but we're in the closest thing to it. We're just not going to let anybody get anything by us. Look, don't think that Jackson Christian's defensive coaches and their defense don't want to shut out. They do. So they're playing it like they should, and I'll have to hand it tip to Rosemark. They're getting what Jackson Christian is giving them. And that is Ellis Fulling. Fulling. He is split. It's a version of trips. Really, the guy looks more like a wing back than he does part of a trips formation. Cannon checks the side. Petrowski one-on-one -on -one over here with Vaughn. They throw again across the middle. It was intended for Hughes, but pass was incomplete. And I see Potts there on the coverage. And Potts was right with him. Yeah, and, and Kyle Christensen went in there, and the – Ever, ever, ever popular as he ran by him. He got leg whip right in the shin. And you know what that feels like, Goat? Pain hurts. <laughs> That's like walking behind a truck and hitting a trailer hitch. <laughs> I've said a few words. I think I've made up a few words after I hit mine. Well, one of Dan Bland's teammates, he was telling us Mississippi State story, used to drop a brick on his foot to stop his headaches. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Are you serious? I am serious. Under the theory, you can't be hurting it, too. Or, yes, you can hurt two places. I can hurt in two places. <laughs> and the referees blow the whistle, and I said, um, you know what? Rusty's going to get arm cramp throwing that little flag right there. Well, but he's doing the right thing. He is because you don't want to let him get away with it because it's just against the rules. I don't care what the clock's doing or whatever, whatever. But why are we jumping off sides covering the outside guy? Don't listen to the quarterback. Look at the football. Now, I see one of our other young men have, have come on, and I will have to get my good roster out here rather than my spotting chart roster. Number 18, Gavin Walker, a sophomore who's 6'5", and he's, as soon as he gets through with Coach's weight program, Coach Irvin's weight program, this young man's going to be a very good player one day, and he's just a sophomore, 6'5". Yep. Here he comes across the line. Fullen's got it, broke an arm tackle, broke another one, and for all of that hard work, he's maybe going to get three and a half yards. Well, Daniel Green come in blasting from the corner, and as he came through, he just overran the play. Uh, and it's a very aggressive play, but the, the, the running back just kind of came to a stop right there and, and, and allowed him 
to continue up the field, and then he continued on. He's a little gimpy right now, Daniel, and, and uh, that's going to be the end of the third quarter, Coach. Yeah, and with the score of 49 to nothing, Jackson Christian leading on the ball game blitz. Let's take a timeout. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive. Van Drive, Jackson. Hey, this is Chuck Walker with Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. If you live in West Tennessee, you have a need for the services we offer. We treat for all types of pests, including bed bugs, brown recluse spiders, and other hard-to-treat pests. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to encapsulate a crawl space. Give us a call to hear how to achieve the same thing and save thousands. Southeastern Termite and Pest Control can handle all of your termite and pest control needs, wood fungus and moisture barriers, real estate closing letters, and so much more. Southeastern, 731 660 Ten fifty-two. Back on the ball game blitz with a running clock here for the fourth quarter. Jackson Christian up 49 to nothing. Tipton Rose Mark is on the left hash mark, the one closest to the Jackson Christian bench. We'll try to identify some of these players that are in there. I see Tristan Nash wearing 76. And, you know, those look a little <coughs> bit like the old jerseys of the Baltimore Colts yes. that uh, Jackson Christian has on. I always love those jerseys. Yep, the the stripes on the shoulder yeah. pads. I Johnny, love that. Johnny Unanus, Raymond Berry, those guys yep. like that, Ordell Bracey. Anyway, it is Tipton Rosemark football, and it's a little flip pass right there to Fullen, and that is Ellis Fullen. And, and that's a nice play, and it gets the first down, Dave. It does, and, and I mean, that's right now what they're wanting to do is, is they're – they're treating this like a scrimmage, and, and their desire right now is to get the ball in the end zone. And Jackson Christian is getting some good reps in, but don't think uh, that, that they're not wanting the shutout. And, Coach, my favorite man is in there right now at linebacker, number 20. Yeah, Brother Potts is in there. Yes. First and 10, the ball right on the 50. Cannon checks the sideline. Man coverage, one high safety. They give to Fullen. Fullen's going to get a tough yard or two, and there is a whole host of people. And it, it looks like I've got 34 in there, which is Brooks Goff, but uh, there was a second tackler that actually had the initial contact. That would be Hunter, is it Waldrop? Hunter Waldrop. Yeah, sophomore, he, six foot. Sure did. He got in there. He blew that thing up, and somebody shot the gap and was went by everybody. <laughs> they sure did. I see 25 in there. That is uh, James Dyer. He's a freshman. Six out here is Carlos Roberson, the freshman. Saw him in the JV game the other night. He's got some speed to him. He's singled up. Here's Cannon looking, looking to throw over the top. And almost intercepted, almost caught, and flutters harmlessly to the ground. Well, Mason Vaughn had good coverage right there, and the receiver became the defender right there, and at the very end of it was able to get just enough of a paw on it to keep Mason from getting that ball and having another interception. What would that be in about that'd four be, for the year? That would be his fourth in varsity games, plus he has a yeah. JV interception. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, I'm telling you, he's got a nose for the ball. He's one of those ball hawks that just ends up where the ball is. He really is a, a fine young man. We have interviewed him before when he was he was actually the quarterback on the middle school team last year. He and Nash, and of course, like I told you, Lucas Witherspoon hurting on crutches. They fake the give and Bye. overthrown. It's intercepted Guess down who? the sideline. It's Mason Vaughn with his fourth. Can he go all the way? No, they get him pinned on the sideline, but a dandy return down to about the 27, and Sticky Fingers Vaughn is what he's going to be That's it, on. Sticky Fingers Vaughn, and I promise you that kid has a knack of being where the football is, and, and you just got to hand it to him. That is the way things are with him, and he does a fantastic job of doing it. And it's first and ten. Let's see what happens here with the Eagles, how they change up the offense. And um, I see Nash is probably going to go in at left tackle, Dave. Yep. And it looks like Green's going to remain in it at tight end. Vaughn is coming out. And oh, let's see what in. else. 74 is in there at tackle. And we'll have to check my charts now. 74, Aiden Childress is back in. And that's good that they're going to give Austin some work behind the bulk of the first line. But they are substituting some of the – Skill position. Here comes Lance Rowland on the field. He and Jack Collins will work the far side. 
Looks like Blake rolling. His brother, Lance's brother, will work this side of the field, and it goes to DeMoss. So here goes DeMoss. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5, the 4, the 3. Give him 6. Elijah DeMoss, 27 yards. Well, Elijah takes the handoff, and he hits off tackle. Nothing was there. Slips it out to the right, and once he did, he saw his path to the corner of the end zone, and just, uh, I'm telling you, I, I can't find any fault of what is happening out here tonight at Ronnie Fowler. No, when uh, you leave the football around like that or throw interceptions, Zach sisco has got to be a tired young man as he makes another extra point. It's 56 to nothing. Let's take a timeout on the ball game blitz. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. And we are back here where tonight Mitchell's Body Shop has brought you the replays, pregame, postgame by Great American Sports. The Blacksmith Restaurant, one of the corner logo sponsors, Jones Chevrolet, another one, Dynamics Physical Therapy, who handles these young men on the field and takes care of their injuries. Jackson State Community College, Thompson & Smith Insurance with the scoreboard, Aloha Pools, Southeastern Termite, Lifestyle Vision, Snookums Restaurant, as Cisco goes back to kick Nest Realty. And uh, David was talking about, Dave, you're right, he'll have to take the ice bath tonight. Yeah, and unusual kickers have to do that. This one, a line drive, is going to bounce, bounce, kick. It's going to start to die, and they're going to pick it up at about the eight-yard line. And I'll pick up the new receiver. He hasn't been back there but a couple of times tonight. And that was number 20 for them. That is Dominic Dotson. Coach, I figured it out. Kick okay. seven, kick eight. His leg's just tired. He can't no. get it there right now. You're not supposed to kick off eight times in a ball game. Shane Sisko, uh, he's the <laughs> dad. You, your son needs a leg massage right now. He's earned his keep. You need to feed him for another week. If I was the front line, I would be more than happy to lower the kicker into the ice tub. Yes. I would have Vaughn is going to go out and take. And he's got a good guy to guard now, a tough guy. Petrowski, yep. Petrowski. is a good wide out. And uh, – Wandering out there to pick up the other guy is Brooks Goff. Goff will be on the receiver, the one high safety. We'll see who that is. That, that is definitely not DeMoss. Roberson is in there. Potts is still in there. Here's the handoff, and they give it to Nick Fullen. He's going to get some yards. Nice carry for him. You know, with 6.34, Coach, remaining in, in the ball game with a running clock, 56 to nothing. Tipton Rosemark is running their offense, and, and they're still going hard. And that means that the coach has pretty much had them buy into the fact that, look, we're rebuilding. It's not going to be great all the time. Let's deal with it. Well, I think Coach Dean, as he rebuilds, yep. will do a, a very good job. He's, he's a fine young man. Here's the handoff to full again, trying that right side, bounces it outside. We lose leverage, but I'm going to tell you what, a good recovery tackle over there. And is that 34? Yes, it is. It is 34. Wow. And number 34. Man, that's, uh, that's Brooks, Brooks Goff. Goff. Yeah, Goff. And, you know, it looked like he was just fixing to spring that to the outside and turn it turn it outside and get it up and, and, and have some good yardage. And uh, Mr. Goff said, uh, I don't think so. I think he's going to stop right here. Y'all go get in the huddle to talk about it. Dash in for Pomeroy. Jack Pomeroy coming out, the junior uh, defensive lineman. Got the fullback or H-back is what I prefer to call it in there. Regular spread type formation. They're going to try full on the left side. He'll bend it back almost like it was a trap. The football's loose. Who's got it? I want to say Jackson Christian unless – their number 25 got it back. They did. I cannot believe that they somehow or another, with five blue jerseys standing around. Ball recovered by number six, Carlos Robertson. No, the 25 yeah. that for them recovered yeah. it. Trey Scott, the 10th grade wideout. 
our offense was running on the field, and they're really disappointed that they don't get to go back in. But I don't believe we need to run any more plays. Tom Fan would probably have somebody doing Chinese push-ups, <laughs> you know, the ones where you put your nose in the triangle. Hey, what's the word for fumble, Coach? I don't know. Oski. Oh, no, that's for interception, Dave. <laughs> Here's the running back again. Nice hole, but we close it quickly. I see Potts there. I see Adkins there. Um, or Dyer, I mean. Dyer is there wearing 25. There was one more gentleman there, and we missed him coming in the ball game. His number 30, Eli Smith, he also is a freshman. And, and I tell you, Mr. Walker right there did a great job. Number 18, blasting on the end. Keep it on this young man for the future, just a sophomore. Boy, he built good. Wait till he gets through with the weight program. Yeah. We've got a good one. The fake on the handoff and a nice breakout right there. Kind of posted up enough for another first down. we got a new quarterback in. That's number 17, River Sharp. He is a freshman, plays wide out this year, but he is the backup quarterback. They threw a pretty good pass right there, and, and uh, I always like the name River. And, and I say that River Sharp is on our team. That shows you I know our roster better. Okay. This, is, this is another Fullen. This is Jackson Fullen. All right. Now, remember his uh, – I believe it's his brother played quarterback last year yep. for the team as a he senior. He sure did. First and ten for the Rebels on the, on the 46 of Jackson Christian. There's a nice handoff in play. And Nick Fullen has broken a couple of tackles. I thought I saw a block in the back, but, again, with the guy turning like that, I don't blame the officials for not calling that. Well, he just ran about 25 yards, took six big-time licks, and ends up getting the first down. And, Coach, with three minutes left, everybody on this sidelines is just looking and going, wait a second, guys. It's the deepest penetration that they've had. We have got to hold them. I see Seth Joyner checking in. He is a freshman, wears number 54. 37 is also in there, Justin Smith. He's playing the dog linebacker right now. Here's the snap to give again to Fullen. They're trying to put something on the board. And that time I saw two guys, 53 for us, 25 is James Dyer, 53 Hunter Walter. Yep, and number 30 got his, uh, got his helmet in there for a little bit. That is Eli Smith. He... They held him up. He got, he got a little pop on him. <laughs> Second and one with 220 and counting to go. Jackson Fullen, who's a junior in at quarterback right now. Here's the toss over the middle, and we let it be complete to Funk, and he's no. going to take it close to the goal line, and they'll have a – what, second or first and goal from about the one, day? Yeah, they're going to mark it at the one, and they hit the slant absolutely perfect, and uh, they just they just got between the linebackers, and once they did and got past him, it's on the one. Coach Clock's running. I have a feeling you might see a timeout. He wants to put points on the board. Yes, he does. It, it looks good to do that. They send 23 far to the right, Seth Latham. They've got a slot in the backfield as Nick's. Fullen with the new quarterback, who's also a Fullen, and the Knicks is going to try the line. And the referees say he is good from one yard out, so they put their first score on there. Yeah, you got to hand it to him, Coach. That, that right there shows the determination of a team that knows that uh, there are brighter days ahead, but the only way to reach those brighter days is to just – just trudge through the mud hole and right there putting points on the board with 125 that is very important for that bus ride home it, back it to is. tifton county they bring on nathan washington he is the 11th grade uh, place kicker can punt snap the kick is up it is high enough it's long enough it's good and the score is now 56 to 7 on the ball game blitz here on worthy road studios Let's take a timeout. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. 
back awaiting the kickoff of Nathan Washington as Tipton Rosemark has had a sustained drive and put points on the board. Some of our other sponsors, Aloha Pools, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air Hub, City Deli, Alive Hydration and Spa, Lifeline Blood Services, Kaufman's Furniture, Arrington Funeral Home Directors, and also the Bank of Jackson, King Jewelers, Lonnie Cobb, Nest Realty, Snookums, and Lifestyle Vision. Please go by and tell these folks you appreciate them bringing you Jackson Christian football. Snookums. I love that name. Oh, they got some great steaks down there. Oh, we, man, we got do. two of the best steak cooking sponsors there is them. Yes. And, of course, uh, down the blacksmith right across from uh-huh. 101.5. Here is the kickoff, and it's coming over to the just a sideline fielded there by Mason Vaughn, and he'll bring it and take it out of bounds at about the 34, there 33. There you go. Good call. There's no reason, and the coach is getting him good. Look at him. Both of them are coming in there on him right now. Don't know if you were able to see that as, as you got through it, but Eli Craig got a little excited. There was no reason to do what he just did was pop that player hard legally a little bit after the whistle with 47 seconds left. In a yeah. And I like what our coach staff game. did. They took our yep. boys down to the – far end to get it out of there'll be a mark off against jackson christian it's been a great homecoming you got to see the royalty crowned and um, very impressive escorts and beautiful young ladies that represent this school so well 26 seconds and counting this is probably the last play with elijah Jamal at the quarterback he's just going to keep it and he will run towards the left side breaks one tackle he is streaking You're down the sideline, but he's coming back. <laughs> and after a nice run. Coach, that's the inevitable. Uh, we ain't scored a touchdown here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, now they let the time run out. David, do we play one untimed down or is it over? No, that, that's only if it was on defense and offense collects. Coach, before we break to get away and when we, before we come back, the homecoming queen was Emma Blankenship, daughter of Brent and Jennifer Blankenship, escorted by Mr. Brandon Riddle. Congratulations to all the court on homecoming and the homecoming queen, Miss Emma Blankenship. Absolutely. Let's take a time out and hear from some great sponsors on the ball game blitz in the Jackson Christian football on Worthy Road Studios. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. We are back here after a happy homecoming of 56 to seven. The tailgating was good. The football was good. Jackson Christian advances to five and one on the season. 
And uh, Dave, we've only got three games left. And you say, wait a minute, Coach, that doesn't add up to 10. That's because there was a no contest in Columbia. A lot of lightning and a lot of rain, but no contest. <laughs> and a lot of fun was had in that yep. press box. Now, we were long, and we got giddy and slap happy as much as, as we could be. And uh, the only thing that saved us was the people in the parking lot. Yeah. They, and when we said blink your lights and, and honk lights your horn, if you're listening to us in the entire park. Turns lot out there were still about 60 cars there <laughs> at, what, 11.15? Uh, 11.15. <laughs> and then we decided we're going to stop and get us something to eat. That's right. At the Applebee's. But, Coach, I'll tell you right now. This is what we needed. Uh, we, we we needed a, uh, a a very g- a good game where the offense clicked, and um, you know we uh, we did what we had to do. Defensive got it. They they got the late score uh, that uh, that put them on the board. But other than that, uh, I, I, not a lot of penalties except once one there at the end. Um, come out healthy. Nobody nobody had to be looked at. We have one player. That uh, looked like it was just a cramp for Tipton Rosemark. So, pretty much we come out of this healthy and we move on to next week. And uh, that's about all you can ask for on a Friday night. And for homecoming, uh, with all the distractions that go on during the day, you know how that works. You've coached long enough to know that homecoming is not fun for a coach because keeping people's minds on what they're doing is very hard, but Jackson Christian was able to get on it tonight and have a very, very, very successful ball game. And there's all kinds of activities, Dave, like the parade and yep. their skits and stunts during the week. And you still had middle school games, middle school closing on a on a big victory for them. The elementary team went seven and one, and uh, you know, and I believe Greg is just about ready to play. Tell you what, let's do. Let's take a a short timeout and. Greg will be in here to get you some final stats, but we're taking a timeout here on the Ball Game Blitz. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And we're back at Ronnie Fowler Stadium where Jackson Christian makes it a beautiful homecoming night on a beautiful day. And uh, nobody got hurt. Everybody was able to finish the ball game. A lot of reps were got all the way through and uh, had a big offensive night. Had a good shutout going. They were able to just squeeze one in under the wire. So we're going to talk to Greg now. Greg, tell us what we did offensively, defensively, and I think for the first time me and Coach decided that a kicker's going to have to take an ice bath. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, David, uh, for Joshua Christian, we had seven first down. In the passing department, we attempted nine, completing seven for 100 yards. Gage Boykin uh, attempted six, completing five for 78. Austin Kelly attempted three, completing two for 22. Uh, Lance Rowland had the long touchdown pass from Gage Boykin of 21 yards. In the rushing department, we were 12 times for 265 yards. Uh, Cam Boykin had six for 138 and four touchdowns. Jalen Mosley had two for 61 and two touchdowns. Uh, Elijah DeMoss had three for 60 with one touchdown. And Austin Kelly had one for six yards. Total offense, 365. We had four penalties for 35 yards. We kicked the ball, kicked off nine times and had six in the backfield. Yeah. Six in the, six in the end zone, zone. And the only reason that seven, eight, and nine did not go in the end zone is because his leg was wore out. <laughs> he couldn't swing it anymore. Because you got to remember, 
uh, right before he kicks those nine kickoffs, there was nine extra points. That's so. right. For TRA, they had 18 first downs. They attempted 32 passes, completing 17 for 162 yards. They rushed the ball 30 times for 102 yards. They had four penalties for 20 yards. Uh, total offense, 264 yards, and their long score was in the fourth quarter on a one-yard run by number 22. Well, and, and you know, I, I got to hand it to them is this they continued to run their offense and uh, they continued to try hard, and, and, and it will make it a shorter bus ride back to Tipton getting that score in, but there's no question that Jackson Christian wanted the shutout. I mean, that's what defenses want. Yep. Offenses like to put big numbers up. Defenses like to absolutely put a zero up there. So, you know, but in, at the end of the day, we came out healthy. We got back on track. We needed to do uh, what we did. And uh, as me and Coach were talking about, homecoming can be a little bit distracting to players right. and everything yeah. else. And uh, we were able to keep our minds focused and take care of business. And uh, it's just now we enjoy it tonight, enjoy it tomorrow, because Monday we go to work and we're ready for – uh, three more, and uh, I just, uh, if we take care of business, I see us yep. traveling back down the road yep. about a half a mile. We've, so We've got uh, two weeks from tonight, we go to FACS. Yep. Got FACS, we got Trinity, and we got Fayette Academy left right. uh, to play. And so uh, we'll be ready and coming back. Greg, we appreciate it. You always do a great job. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take one more time out and uh, we're going to break away. Me and Coach will talk a little bit about what's coming up, what happened tonight, and all of the things that you want to hear because Jackson Christian takes down uh, Tipton Rosemark on homecoming here at Ronnie Fowler Stadium. We'll be right back after this. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. If you work outside or in a facility with no AC, or you're just struggling with this year's heat wave, it can really take a toll on your body and health. At Live Hydration Drip Spa, we can help you recover with our Beat the Heat special for only $59. Call or visit us online today to set your appointment. And we are back a happy final 56 to 7. Uh, homecoming festivities went well. There was no rain. Remember one year, David, we had to have the homecoming as far as the crowning the queen and stuff up in the gymnasium mm -hmm. and uh, you can watch a replay and watch the crowning and all of that uh, on uh, YouTube, uh, Worthy Road Studios. And of course the game will be there with us. We apologize for the internet, but um, we're going to, we're going to get it fixed, but uh, I, there's nothing that's any more <laughs> aggravating to us and everybody up here that we're ready to go and we're doing everything that we can do. And, the one thing that the world depends on now is internet and wireless. And for some reason, we are smacking the heart of Jackson and can't get it. And, Ain't that uh, something? Gage, if, if well, I know he's not listening. He wants me to send him <laughs> Gage's stats. I don't have them. Greg, Greg has yeah. the official stats. And he, um, The only thing that I did write down on it is Boyd Rush for 138, Mosley for 61. Each of them had two touchdowns apiece. Yes, and uh, you heard the statistical information, and uh, it uh, it was an interesting ball game. Uh, first couple of series, they pushed us just like they did TCA. Tipton Rosemark is rebuilding, but they've got some good, strong kids. They've got a concept they – they want to use, and uh, uh, they're trying real hard. I think their coach, uh, Coach Dean, he'll, he'll do a good job with them, and their team to be reckoned with. We'll take this next week off. There probably will not be, and I'm going to check with Gary. Uh, as far as I know, there is no Hub City Deli Tuesday night because of it wasn't last year because of the 
this is the week that everybody's going to be out of town and all that. And uh, we do have to play FACS at FACS. Coming to Memphis. And, Coming uh, to Memphis. We will have that ball game uh, on the uh, Friday night, I believe. The I don't well, my, even my calendar's not wanting to work right now. That's real good. Um, is that the weekend after TCA? No, TCA is the second game coming back, and then the last one is a home game against Fayette Academy. Okay. We will be playing on the 14th at FACS, at TCA on the 21st, and also on the 28th it will be the last game. It will be home on the 28th. should be senior night, and a lot of things still happening. Remember, all of these games are always archived on Worthy Road Studios on YouTube. And, of course, we want you to go by and say something to – all of our great sponsors and stuff, and uh, tell them you appreciate them bringing you Jackson Christian football. Great night for the Eagles. Good to see Coach Darby Palmer, and again, our condolences. His dad passed away earlier in the week in hustling young man. Great coaching staff for Jackson Christian. Dave, any final comments out of you? Well, Ed, you know, as you read that off, something just occurred to me, and there's some good news and some bad news. Okay. Bad news is I don't get to take the trip to Memphis with you because I'm going to be in Knoxville watching oh, UT. It, but so the, it's the FACS yes, game. Yes, the FACS game. I will finally get to oh, do the Trinity okay. game. You will get to do. Yes, uh, we we will be gone uh, and and going to Knoxville for UT Alabama, and I think that game is on the 14th or 15th. I think. What what when do we play FACS? We play FACS on the 14th the of October. 15th will be the Alabama U- game, UTA. so uh, which is the third week in third October. Third Saturday in October. But, uh, yeah, that's the bad news is, is uh, you know, I, I love our road trips. We have some we have fun. Some <laughs> and I don't really know how to get to FACS without <laughs> you. <laughs> well, you know, we went in and that we back didn't, door. We did not leave a breadcrumb trail last oh. time we were there. You no, know, and I brought us in the back door, too. But yes. just remember, Germantown and Walnut Grove, if you can find there, you can find anywhere. But no, I know. I'll have to leave two hours earlier because Dave will Oh, leave. man, that's going to hurt. I just look, you know, I'd rather, well. I ain't seen Trinity in in three years because it seems like we play Trinity on the third weekend of October, and I'm I'm going to see UT and and Tennessee play just about whenever they do it. But, Coach, I'm I'm really, really happy to see how we reacted after coming off an extremely emotional uh, game that we played last week. Uh, We seem to have put it behind us, which is hard to do. And uh, you know, I, I think that they're they're playing for a cause, and that cause is is, is to survive in advance. And uh, right now, I, I really like the way that we're we're handling it. I think we'll see the uh, the boys in uh, in 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 Columbia blue and red again. But uh, we just got to take care of our business tonight. Was the first step. Three more to go, and uh, enjoy being here with you. Hate that the internet went down, but uh, just again, I will tell you this. We try and try and try to fix this stuff, and uh, really nothing we can do. When technology decides to go away and we depend on technology, we can't just pull it out of the air. But uh, we worked real hard, and there was a lot of times that uh, uh, there would have been some other bells and whistles that they would have got to see, but we just couldn't pull it together. And I'm going to promise you, if y'all could have seen behind me and Coach what they were trying to do, to put this thing back together again, but coach, we get to get out of here early. Yeah. We get to we get to hear some uh, scores, and uh, always enjoy being here with you. And uh, what a good, what a great ball game! Absolutely, I'm going to blame this on Vladimir Putin. He's behind this somehow. There's got to be Russian collusion involved in this. They're, they're either that or it's Hunter Hunter's uh, laptop. Hunter Biden's laptop yep. did this tonight. It could be. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, one way or the other, the, uh, we have enjoyed it. Like I said, please uh, patronize our sponsors. Yes. This is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2022. That, do, that means that you cannot lift clips of it or anything like that without the permission of Paul Schultz and Worthy Road Studios since he is the owner and executive producer. So yep. you better get my permission doesn't give you anything. And um, we, uh, the ball game blitz, uh, it'll be up and running on that as far as YouTube and some of our other schools. 
And, of course, tonight you see all the great people that help bring you this game. First of all, Stephanie, Janda, uh, her, and Gary nearly worked themselves to death. Uh, Adrena Hicks, of course, Adrena's situation, uh, she did her best with the replay. She it's an helped. easy night. Yeah, Chris Benson always does a good job on, on camera. Uh. We're glad Chris is here in Jackson. He came here from Texas. Hey, Stephanie and smiled. She did. And, I saw and, her. Uh, Don't even try well, to hide it. Of course, Gary Lockhart, he comes here in the mornings and helps Paul set up. He does other things like that. He's a great technical director. He is our director, producer, all-around good guy on Hub City Deli broadcast on Tuesday nights. And you see the executive producer, Paul Schultze. Play-by-play -play was by Coach Joe Holloway. The man. But the – Greatest color announcer, and I got news for some of these people that do color in the NFL. Dave Wade can take your job, folks. He does that good a job, and we appreciate you, the fans, for watching the administration at Jackson Christian and thank the coaching staff over at, um, like I said, the first time all year. I got to tell people this before we sign off, and I know I'm not doing a professional sign off. Now. The coach over there, I asked for a roster and a probable starting lineup on Monday. He's the only coach of the opposition that has gotten it to me on Monday. I've even had to call and beg for a roster on Friday of a ball game. Hats off and thank you, thank Tipton you. and Rosemark, for being such a class act. Of course, Jason Shelton, Dr. Benton, and Blake, thank you for getting my hamburger. My blood sugar was dropping a little bit. <laughs> Blake Beckham, and there is a sandwich at Hub City. I'll go ahead and give a shameless plug. They are a sponsor yes. of this and also our uh, Tuesday show. Uh, they have a sandwich called the Beckham over there. The Beckham? Yes, the Beckham. But, again, you see these great people. Please thank them when you see them. And, again, any rebroadcast, retransmission, or editing or further use of this ball game blitz TV show without the written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. For Dave, Wade, the whole crew, and myself, we'll say thanks for your time this time. Till next time, good night, all.